Chapter 2641 Tribulations in Batches Long Chen and the others rushed down the willow. After that, they saw that outside Devil Spirit Mountain, everyone was standing tensely. The aura of the Martial Heaven Continent was still familiar but also foreign at the same time. It was because the laws of the other worlds had finished fusing with the Martial Heaven Continent. In other words, the experts from the other worlds would no longer be restricted by the Martial Heaven Continent's laws and would be able to freely enter. Hujinying, Li Xiangxuan, and the old man all rushed over. Upon spotting Long Chen, Hujinying said, the Dragonblood Legion doesn't need to rush to finish their tribulation. First, protect the ordinary disciples. Long Chen was confused. Li Xiangxuan explained, with the world changing, with the laws in chaos, even Empyreans no longer have much of an advantage. They are chosen by the Heavenly Deos but not the Heavenly Deos of the other worlds. Thus, when they undergo tribulation, the heavenly punishment aspect will be stronger, increasing the danger. Right now, the ones to undergo their tribulations first will have it a bit easier since the heavenly Tao energy is in chaos. However, as more people finish their tribulations, the fusion of the different laws will grow more complete, and there will no longer be any chaos to take advantage of. At that time, it will be difficult for ordinary disciples to get through their tribulations. That's why it's best for the comparatively weaker disciples to first undergo tribulation to maintain the highest possible success rate for everyone. So that was the case. Long Chen nodded. In any case, the Dragonblood Legion had him. So it didn't matter how powerful the tribulation was. However, going later has its own benefits. The stronger the heavenly tribulation, the greater the benefits. Due to the other world's energy entering. You will also be able to absorb that energy and use those laws to your advantage, said Kujinying. Then you can arrange things for us. Long Chen nodded. Since he didn't know much about this, he would just listen to orders. The heavenly Deos quivered. Even from a great distance, Long Chen could see specks of light appearing. Long Chen sensed many familiar auras. People are starting their tribulations. The weaker ones must pass through right at the start or once stronger ones go through and the heavenly Tao energy grows stronger, they won't be able to clear this tribulation, said Li Xiangxuan. More specks of light lit up. Every speck of light represented someone undergoing tribulation. They were like stars in the sky. Some were small, some were weak. The smaller ones were those with weaker tribulations, while the brighter ones were stronger tribulations. Should we prepare to stop our enemies from interrupting and causing chaos? If they attack while we're undergoing tribulation, won't that raise the difficulty? Experts like the Blood Fiend Devil Lord and Aldevil Heaven Walker will be able to stop the majority of us from passing, said Guo Ran. Li Xiangxuan smiled. You don't need to worry about that. Experts on this level won't waste this precious chance. They will definitely wait until the end to enjoy the strongest heavenly tribulation. As for the ordinary experts, if they come to the Martial Heaven Continent to undergo tribulation, they will be easily killed. Furthermore, the channels to all the worlds have been fully opened, but the joint laws are still differentiated by proportion. That means by undergoing tribulation in the Martial Heaven Continent, one will absorb a bit more of the laws of the Martial Heaven Continent in comparison to the other world's laws. The same is true for us if we go to their worlds. If you do, you will be unable to receive the blessing of your original world, and it will increase the difficulty of the tribulation the divine families have discussed this with everyone. Everything is arranged. The first batch of experts is undergoing their tribulations, based on weakest to strongest. The first batch is the weakest, the second is slightly stronger, and the third batch is the core warriors of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The fourth batch includes the strongest warriors while the fifth batch is the greatest geniuses of every various power. The sixth batch will be left to Lingxian, Buping, Chang Hao, and experts on that level. The Dragonblood Legion is set to go with the fifth batch. That should be no problem, right? Said Ku Jinying. The Dragonblood Legion would be better suited to the sixth batch, said Long Chen. Long Chen, that would be too dangerous. The heavenly tribulations will grow increasingly powerful. Most importantly, if your Dragonblood Legion undergoes tribulation together, it will be even more terrifying, said Kujinying. That's fine. 
Going through heavenly tribulation is something I'm extremely experienced with, said Long Chen with a smile. Although the individual combat power of each dragon blood warrior might not be able to match the likes of Yi Lingxian, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao, they were definitely not inferior in terms of their physical bodies. Long Chen wanted the absolute strongest heavenly tribulation to fully activate the 10,000 dragon blood in their bodies. They would be like rusty blades, and the tribulation was like a whetstone. All right, in any case, your tribulation should be left to the end. That is because the final tribulation relates to the entire continent's karmic luck. It will probably fully activate the continent's karmic luck. At that time, the strongest experts will undergo tribulation all at once. However, you should be mentally prepared. The experts from the other worlds will very likely make a move to try to kill you at that time. Warned Kujinying. Kill me? They dare to enter my heavenly tribulation to kill me, said Long Chen almost unable to believe his ears. Yes, don't be careless. There is the blood fiend devil lord, as well as the Aldevil heaven walker. There's even the sea demon races dragon woman. If your heavenly tribulation causes the phenomenon of all the world's karmic luck gathering on you, they will definitely come to snatch it from you. If they kill you, they will be able to take that karmic luck and obtain anything that they want on the martial heaven continent because all the continent's karmic luck will be supporting them. However, this is only a possibility. This karmic luck might end up supporting someone else, such as Yun Tian, Hu Fang, Long Aotian, Yi Liangchen, Jiang Wachen, Feng Fei, or even someone like Yi Ming. In any case, no matter who it appears on, the other world's experts will definitely come to fight over it. Most importantly, you need to be worried about people supposedly on our side. That is because whoever obtains that karmic luck is the future sovereign, said Kujinying. Long Chen instantly understood this final sentence. So whoever obtained this karmic luck would be the sovereign. If that was the case, then the ones he needed to be most wary of were Long Aotian and the others. Furthermore, this karmic luck could be stolen? In other words, the other world's experts could also take it. If they obtained it, then this war would be over before it even started. The past sovereigns had all gained the support of the Martial Heaven Continent's karmic luck. That was what allowed them to reach the peak of the Martial Path, to become unrivaled existences. This karmic luck support was the crux of becoming a sovereign. It would also be the crux as to whether or not victory could be won in this war. Alliance Head, which tribulation batch have you decided on? Long Chen suddenly thought of Kujianying and the others. They were all at the peak of Nether Passage. They could also undergo tribulation. Chapter 2642 The Heavenly Deos Change Kujinying's expression grew a bit unnatural as though she was embarrassed. It was the old man who said, She is preparing to go through the second batch, while I'm going through the third batch. After all, we're all old. Our blood chi has declined. There's no way for us to compare ourselves to you, youngsters. Kujin Ying was embarrassed. After all, for a senior expert like her to go through the second batch was a bit embarrassing. However, it was truly like what the old man said. They were old, resulting in their blood chi already declining. They couldn't try to force it. Furthermore, they absolutely had to be steady at this time. The senior leaders of the Martial Heaven Alliance like Kujin Ying, the old man, and Li Xiang Xuan had to survive. If they fell to heavenly tribulation due to desiring greater power, it would be a serious blow to the Martial Heaven Alliance. How about the Dragonblood Legion undergoes tribulation with you? Said Long Chen after a moment of thought. How can we do that? The second batch isn't suitable for you. Brat, are you trying to get us to go through the sixth batch? Ku Jinying suddenly realized midway what Long Chen meant. You're right, I misspoke. I meant that you could go through the tribulation with the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen corrected himself. Brat, have I cursed you so much that you want me dead? We won't even have a trace of our bones left if we go through the sixth batch. Cursed Kujinying. Woman, what are you worrying about? Since Long Chen brought it up, he naturally has confidence. Do you not even trust your own child? The old man on the other hand was excited. The stronger the tribulation the greater his power would be afterward. Furthermore, with his understanding of Long Chen, 
He knew that Long Chen wouldn't bring up something he wasn't assured of. Hence, the old man was excited to go through tribulation with the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen said, My power is limited. I can only bring three of you. So Alliance Head, Old Man, and Xuan Master, you can undergo tribulation with the Dragonblood Legion. Li Xiangxuan smiled. Then I will thicken my face and experience what a peak heavenly tribulation feels like. Li Xiangxuan also understood Long Chen and had great confidence in him. In any case, he wasn't undergoing tribulation together with Long Chen, so it was fine. At this moment, the rumbling throughout the world grew louder. There were people in every corner of the Martial Heaven continent going through tribulation. The first batch of people quickly ended. As Ku Jinying said, their tribulations weren't powerful and only lasted a short hour. It was as if the heavenly deos were skimping, simply giving them a quick pass. Right now, a new batch of heaven merging experts appeared on the Martial Heaven continent. When the second batch started, the power of the tribulation multiplied, but it was endurable. It then finished in two hours. On the other hand, the third batch started to grow truly difficult. In the first two batches, essentially no one failed. However, things were different for the third batch. The third batch of experts was strong, but the laws of the heavenly deos were also growing more and more complete, no longer allowing others to just slip through easily. Hence, failures began to appear, with experts turning to dust. The fourth batch quickly got started thereafter. This batch contained the elite warriors of the continent, the main force on the battlefield. The Martial Heaven Alliance and the Divine Family's disciples had created distance between them and began undergoing tribulation. No. A warrior covered in blood screamed and suddenly exploded, turning into bloody mist. This powerful warrior was killed by heavenly tribulation. Seeing this scene, Long Chen couldn't help sighing. That expert was an Empyrean. His status as an Empyrean had brought him accomplishments, but it also harmed him. Before this, he was a supreme genius of the heavens, favored and pampered by the heavenly deos. He had formed a dependence on the heavenly deos as a result. Now, the heavenly deos had grown emotionless. The previously kind heavenly deos became ruthless, and these experts were unable to adapt to this change. It was like a warm mother had become an evil stepmother suddenly. Because of this, holes appeared within their spiritual defenses, and they were wiped out. Everyone. Listen well. You are the warriors of the Martial Heaven Continent. You are brave warriors fighting to protect your families behind you. You have no time to cower. The heavenly deos have changed, as the other world's viciousness has soaked into it. To face this tribulation is to fight the war. What you are facing is not heavenly tribulation, but a challenge from the other worlds. Don't expect them to have mercy on you. If you want to live, show your courage. The life forms from the other worlds want to take your lives and viciously slaughter your families. Can you accept that? Bring out your full power and go all out against them. You are warriors, not cowards. Fight with all you have. Long Chen suddenly shouted. His voice was backed by his spiritual yuan and spiritual strength. Even within the endless lightning, his voice rang out clearly. His voice was directly transmitted into people's souls. If it was anyone else who said the same thing, it wouldn't have much of an impact. But these words came from Long Chen, someone who had created countless miracles, someone who had reached his level step by step through his own efforts. His words contained the power to stun and affect people immensely. Hence, their fear was suppressed, and they felt endless fury as well. Kill. They no longer passively endured the heavenly tribulation as they always did. Now, they attacked it unleashing their full might. Boom. A giant lightning sword crashed down from the black sky at Long Chen. By speaking to them, Long Chen had interfered with their tribulations. This was sensed by the heavenly deos, causing them to unleash heavenly punishment. This was the executioner sword of the heavens that made people's hearts tremble in fear. This sword was the heavens, and it was unavoidable. Beside Long Chen, Hu Jinying's expression suddenly changed. She was shocked to find that she couldn't move. This sword had also locked onto her. Despite the dire situation, Long Chen snorted. At this moment, lightning runes lit up on his hand, and with a single palm, that terrifying lightning sword was shattered into lightning runes. After that, a lightning dragon appeared in the air, 
That was Lai Long. It sniffed them and then vanished again. Meng Chi and the others smiled. Previously, Long Chen's Lai Long was fond of devouring all lightning runes. But now it had gotten picky. It seemed that lightning on this level wasn't even worth devouring. This action stunned the nearby people of the divine families. Heavenly punishment seemed to be nothing to Long Chen. After that one attack, no further punishment came from the heavens. What they didn't know was that a lightning tribulation on this level was unable to lock down Long Chen. It simply wasn't qualified. Long Chen had sensed this, which was why he gave the speech to those experts. It was unknown just how many lives were saved due to his words. In any case, they were all grateful to him. Following this, the fifth batch containing the top geniuses of the various powers also started their tribulations. With the experience of those before them, it went much smoother. The heaven-splitting divine sect's disciples also went through collective tribulation and succeeded without a single person dying. Brothers, are you prepared? It's our turn soon, shouted Guo Ran heroically. Others were filled with fear for this heavenly tribulation, but the dragon blood warriors were filled with anticipation. Chapter 2643 The Dragon Blood Legion's Tribulation Come. Let the heavenly tribulation get even more intense. Guo Ran shouted along with everyone. This felt like the first time since everyone had met him that Guo Ran spoke such manly words. This was due to the immense gains from the tempering of the 10,000 dragon blood. He had experienced unimaginable pain but had also made incredible progress. His powerful physical body made his confidence inflate to unprecedented levels. Hence, he wasn't afraid of anything, not even heavenly tribulation. Furthermore, he knew that after this tribulation, the 10,000 dragon blood would be fully activated. So he was full of expectation for that. Once he entered the heaven merging realm, he would be even stronger. On the other hand, Ku Jinying was pale as she walked forward with the dragon blood legion. She was lacking confidence. Fortunately, the old man stayed beside her. At the same time, Yi Lingxian, Bao Buping, Chang Hao and the other experts on this level found places for their own tribulations. As for those that had passed, they stood guard over the various battlefields to protect those that had yet to finish. The Dragonblood Legion underwent their tribulation not that far from Devil Spirit Mountain, but they made sure to be far away enough not to impact the others. Long Chen, why are you here too? Hu Jinying jumped in shock when she saw Long Chen beside her. If I didn't come, how could I let you come? It'll be fine. Long Chen smiled comfortingly. Hu Jinying was afraid of dying. No one else cherished their life more than her. That was because she knew just how much was on her shoulders. If she died, Yi Lingxian might not be able to pick up the Martial Heaven Alliance. That was why she was willing to go through the second batch of tribulations. She didn't ask for greater power, only to stay alive and make sure that a major pillar of the continent's defense didn't fall. That was also why she was still nervous despite knowing Long Chen. Her life didn't just belong to her but to the entire Martial Heaven Alliance. Brothers, start, shouted Long Chen. The Dragon Blood Warriors or a sword, breaking through the final barrier. The old man, Hu Jinying, and Li Xiangxuan also broke their shackles. As they unleashed their auras, the sky trembled. Tribulation clouds crazily gathered and stacked, growing thicker and thicker. A terrifying pressure gathered around the Dragon Blood Legion. Gu Yang, said Long Chen. Understood. Gu Yang's spear suddenly blazed with light. He stabbed it at the sky, and a giant spear image tore through the tribulation clouds. When the tribulation clouds were pierced, the heavenly Tao energy grew even more berserk. Lightning sword slashed down on the Dragon Blood Legion. This lightning was of five different colors. It was a magnificent sight. Metal, wood, water fire, and earth energy was contained within this lightning, but it also contained a berserk violent will that made people quiver. It's five-colored lightning right from the start. Those watching the tribulation felt a chill. For them, only the final wave had contained five-colored lightning, and it had almost taken their lives. It was unknown just how many experts had ended up dying regretfully under this terrifying lightning. However, the Dragon Blood Legion's first wave was already five colored lightning, so the scale of this tribulation was frightening. Boom! Suddenly, a giant willow appeared in the sky. 
its leaves brushing against the heavens. Those lightning swords were blasted apart on contact with its branches. Right now, Hu Jinying and Li Xiangxuan were on top of the willow. Once the lightning swords were destroyed, the lightning became gentle, allowing the two of them to absorb it. However, the old man stayed amongst the Dragonblood Legion, going through the tribulation as they did. The old man's body was powerful enough that even though his blood chi had declined, this level of heavenly tribulation was still no problem to him. Sister Ruian, can you shrink the range a bit? You're blocking it all, shouted Guo Ran from below. Lu Ruian's crown was so big that she was covering all the lightning. Hearing him, she shrank it down a bit, allowing the Dragonblood Legion to absorb it directly. Hence, the wild lightning swords fell upon the Dragonblood Legion, exploding amongst them. Despite the wild lightning raging amongst them, it was like they were bathing in a warm spring. This heavenly tribulation contains death chi, demonic chi, devil chi, a fiendish blood chi, and many more. The heavenly deos really have changed. Long Chen muttered to himself. His eyes were closed as he sensed the lightning. You're right. The martial heaven continent is like muddled water now, infected by multiple streams. The clear water has been tainted, and the power has changed, becoming chaotic. Before this, everyone could freely absorb the lightning. Now, they need to expel the portion of the energy that's harmful to their bodies, said the old man. The old man was covered in lightning, but it was unable to harm him. From this, it could be seen just how thick the old man's foundation was. However, muddled water has its benefits as well. Clear water doesn't have fish, and only muddled water can allow fish to grow large. Purity and impurity exist together. The energy of the other worlds has strengthened the heavenly Tao energy. Just this lightning contains many different streams of energy. Good things sometimes have a bad side, and bad things sometimes have a good side, said Long Chen. Lai Long eventually couldn't hold back any longer and began to absorb these lightning runes. It only absorbed the weaker ones like an obedient child, leaving the main feast to the others, but making sure not to waste even a single grain of rice. Yes. This lightning also contains blood chi, the power of the laws of the blood race's world. It can actually increase the activity of the bloodline, making people feel younger, said the old man. He felt that his body was getting younger bit by bit. Although it was just the faintest bit, it was definitely there. Long Chen couldn't absorb this blood chi, but Long Chen did sense the dragon blood warrior's bloodline power faintly changing. That was enough to show that it was stimulating the 10,000 dragon blood. That was a good thing. However, Long Chen had a true dragon's essence blood within him, and it looked down on all other blood chi. It refused to let other blood chi enter, as if it would dirty its purity. This also wasn't Long Chen's tribulation, so he couldn't sense many things that he could use in it. He simply had Lai Long absorb some extras as he looked for the new laws of the heavenly deos. The lightning swords fell for less than an hour. After that, countless five-colored beasts descended from the sky. What seeing those beasts? People were stunned. They had seen lightning beasts before but not beasts made of five-colored tribulation lightning. Most importantly, they all looked real as if they were made of flesh and blood. Their auras were all powerful. Even disciples that had just finished advancing to heaven merging felt fear toward them. Boom. One dragon blood warrior slashed a giant elephant, but it was only knocked back. Its tusk suddenly lit up with divine light, and some light swords shot out at that dragon blood warrior. Watch out! Long Chen suddenly gave a warning, and that dragon blood warrior hastily dodged. He only managed to dodge one light sword, but the other one struck his shoulder. As a result, blood splashed as half his shoulder exploded. That attack had been incredibly sharp, shocking everyone. They can use divine abilities. Chapter 2644 Lightning Beasts on the level of Sovereign Sprouts Just as everyone was shocked, a five-colored butterfly appeared in front of everyone, and the world instantly became clear and bright. The tribulation clouds vanished. A boundless green field was around them. The sun shone down on them warmly. Wake up! Menki's sharp cry rang out, startling people. At this moment, a ray of light shot out of the void mirror in Menki's hands, and the butterfly vanished, transforming into lightning runes. The dragonblood warriors were once more brought back into cruel reality. 
feeling shocked. Just now, they had been brought into an illusion. Be careful. These lightning beasts contain the laws of the other worlds. They're different from the martial heaven continent's lightning beasts. And they can use divine abilities. Shouted Long Chen. Before this, the lightning beasts of the martial heaven continent only possessed violent power and not divine abilities. However, these lightning beasts were like demonic beasts. Capable of using various divine abilities. Kill. The dragon blood warriors roared. They no longer dared to be the slightest bit careless. This tribulation was different from all their previous ones. So all their experience could no longer be counted on. When the dragon blood warriors became serious. Going all out against those lightning beasts. It resulted in a sea of five colored lightning. The dragon blood warriors immersed themselves in that sea. Absorbing the lightning. Just as Long Chen said, this lightning contained its original pure essence and many new impurities. There were more bad things but also more good things. Moreover, this lightning was different from the previous lightning of the martial heaven continent. It contained a divine essence. This kind of energy was something only Long Chen had previously experienced when he had been struck by divine lightning. Now, this five-colored lightning contained a trace of that energy, although it wasn't much. It was enough to purify and activate the 10,000 dragon blood in the dragon blood warrior's bodies. At this moment, Lai Long's body shrank down, and it slowly absorbed the lightning around Long Chen. Long Chen had told Lai Long not to absorb too much, as that might affect the dragon blood warriors negatively. Long Chen knew that Lai Long was not satisfied, so he comforted it. This wasn't his tribulation, it was just a snack before a feast. When it was his tribulation, Lai Long wouldn't even be able to eat all of it. As time passed, more and more lightning beasts appeared, and they also grew stronger. At first, they were only around the early Nether Passage realm. Later on, as they continually grew, at the two mark point, their cultivation bases had reached the peak of Nether Passage. Just ordinary peak Nether Passage demonic beasts were nothing to the dragon blood warriors, but these demonic beasts were particularly difficult to deal with. They had all kinds of divine abilities that gave them immense killing power. Why are these demonic beasts so powerful? Shouted one dragon blood warrior. He had been heavily injured twice. If it wasn't for the healing squad at the rear helping him recover, he wouldn't have been able to keep fighting Novaloon.com. This is most likely the tribulation of the demonic beast race. These demonic beasts are probably their world's ancient heroic spirits, said the old man as he slashed one beast apart. Ancient heroic spirits were the experts of eras past, those who had been copied by the heavenly deos. Their attacks were just like when they were alive. As for these lightning beasts, they were most likely the most amazing existences of the demonic beast race in the past. That was why the dragon blood legion was having so much trouble. It's no good. Get into formation shouted Xia Chen. If they continued fighting individually, they would be overwhelmed. Too many people were being injured and they were exhausting themselves too quickly. Who knew what would happen later? Hence, they had to maintain their peak condition. Following Xia Chen's shout, the dragon blood warriors got into a formation. Once the formation was complete, the pressure immediately lessened, and dealing with the demonic beasts became much easier. Only Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yu Zifeng, and the others were fighting by themselves. These lightning beasts were unable to harm them. They stood over the outer regions, controlling the tempo. Originally, Long Chen had wanted the old man to get into the center of the Dragon Blood Legion's formation, but it seemed that the old man refused to accept that he was old. Holding the heaven splitting blade, he charged out, slaughtering the lightning beasts. He was fiercer than anyone else. Looking at this scene, Long Chen glanced toward the alliance head, as expected. Hu Jin Ying's eyes were on the old man. Hence, Long Chen shook his head. It seemed that the older they became, the more childish they grew. It seemed like they hadn't matured at all when it came to romantic love. The old man was excited and fighting as if he had limitless power. The chaotic heavenly Tao energy was stimulating his life spirit Qi, and his body was growing younger. Hence, he felt like he had returned to his youth. He was unable to even restrain himself. Long Chen thought of advising the old man to save some energy but then decided against it. If the old man wanted to fight like this, 
he could fight like this. He would probably only have this one chance to mess around like this. Furthermore, it was a rare chance to show off in front of Pujinying. He wouldn't be happy to be stopped. A full six hours passed. The lightning beasts had grown so powerful that they reached the level of sovereign sprouts. Long Chen was surprised. This heavenly tribulation was truly terrifying. The dragon blood warrior's dragon blood had been slowly activated by the lightning. They were growing stronger and stronger without being aware of it, but Long Chen saw it clearly. However, even after getting stronger, they were still suppressed. These lightning demonic beasts were getting increasingly powerful. This heavenly tribulation really was history's strongest one. What a saber technique. Yu Zifeng had just killed a mass of lightning beasts when he saw the old man kill a lightning beast that had reached the level of a sovereign sprout that had been sneak attacking him. He couldn't help praising the old man. Even Yu Zifeng and the others felt admiration for the old man's fierceness. His dauntless aura gave them endless encouragement. Careful. The lightning beasts are getting stronger again. Warned Lu Ruian suddenly. At this moment. Lu Ruian's willow body had shrunk down to just 3,000 meters. That was only the way she could be sure of fully protecting Ku Jinying and Li Xiangxuan. Heavens, over 10,000 sovereign sprout level lightning beasts. The experts in the distance watched as a mass of lightning beasts descended from the heavens. Their auras were enough to scare people to death. It seems that this is the final wave. Brothers, bring out your full power, shouted Guo Ran. However, even though that was what he said, he remained within the formation. He didn't fly out because he didn't have his battle armor. It would interfere with absorbing the lightning, but without it, he was afraid of dying to the lightning beasts. That was why he chose the wisest decision of staying at the center of the formation and cheering everyone on, focusing on absorbing as much as he could. Over 10,000 giant lightning beasts crashed down on the Dragonblood Legion. At this moment, the void shattered and the earth was blown apart. There was no power that could block the charge of over 10,000 sovereign sprout lightning beasts. The dragonblood warriors were heavily shaken. Even their formation was starting to break apart. Despite having experienced countless bloody battles, the dragonblood warriors' hearts sank. If the formation was destroyed, how could they block so many sovereign sprout lightning beasts? Now, Long Chen had taken out Devil Moon. If the Dragonblood Legion was unable to block it, he would have to interfere. There's no need for you to do anything. Just watch. Heaven Sealing Shield. Luru Ian snorted. As she was forming hand seals, countless willow branches and roots weaved together, forming into a giant wooden barrier that protected everyone. Chapter 2645 The Old Man's Might Boom. Countless lightning beasts smashed into the wooden shield, blasting it apart. However, Luruian still managed to block this first charge. This gave the Dragonblood Legion some precious breathing room. By the time the shield broke, their formation was complete. Kill, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Cloud, and the others all attacked at once, taking advantage of the moment just as the lightning beasts finished their assault to launch a powerful counterattack. With everyone joining forces, a stream of light blasted through the lightning beasts. A giant hole was left in the void. When that hole appeared, Guo Ran was about to give the order for the Dragonblood Legion to charge out, working together with Meng Chi and the others' attacks to press their advantage, not giving the lightning beasts any chance to recover. However, just as his orders were about to come out of his mouth, it felt like a blade cut his throat. No sound came out. That was because he saw a giant figure within the giant hole. That was a giant divine bird. Its eyes were like golden lanterns looking at them through the hole. In that instant, the dragonblood warriors felt their hearts stop beating. They were locked onto by a terrifying aura. What kind of monster is that? The distant experts were all startled by that divine bird. Just looking at it caused their backs to be covered in cold sweats. They had advanced to the heaven merging realm. But this divine bird made them feel as insignificant as ants. This heavenly tribulation was absolutely terrifying, not giving people any chance of surviving. A lightning beast that has reached the level of a demonic king, and one at the heaven merging realm at that, Long Chen jumped. He had killed demonic kings before, so he knew their auras. However, this demonic king's aura was even more terrifying than those. 
Perhaps it should be classified as a sovereign sprout demonic king. Even the Dragonblood Legion's heavenly tribulation is this terrifying. I can't even imagine what your tribulation will be like. Of course, I'm not trying to shake your confidence. I just don't want you to be careless, said Evil Moon hastily, correcting itself midway. I'm not afraid no matter how powerful the heavenly tribulation is. If I don't have this confidence, how could I be a nine-star heir, said Long Chen indifferently. He had long since gotten used to his heavenly tribulations. From the blood condensation realm, every one of his heavenly tribulations was trying to kill him. But wasn't he still living happily? Hence, he didn't feel too much fear toward heavenly tribulation. However, this lightning bird did make Long Chen a bit worried. If they were unable to block it, he would be forced to interfere. Then his tribulation would also start ahead of schedule. And that wasn't a good thing. Fuck. Brothers, help me out. I'll kill it. Guo Ran suddenly shouted and summoned his armor. At this time, he couldn't bother about absorbing more lightning. As long as he could eliminate this terrifying divine bird, they would have passed this tribulation. Dragonblood cross slash. Guo Ran roared, crossing his blades before him. As endless energy poured into him, a giant cross condensed in front of him. This was the attack containing the full power of all the Dragonblood Warriors Novaloon.com The giant cross cut through the air, and the heavenly deos rumbled. All lightning beasts touched by that cross were blasted apart. This attack containing over 12,000 Dragonblood Warriors full power practically had the power to destroy heaven and earth. Even these sovereign sprout lightning beasts were instantly destroyed. However, just as the cross was about to strike the divine bird, it suddenly spread its wings. Lightning filled the world. When its body shuddered, an identical copy of it flew out of its body, smashing into the cross. What what kind of divine ability is that? Guo Ran and the others were startled. At this moment, the giant cross struck the divine bird's clone, and an explosion unleashed a wave of lightning that shattered the clouds and blinded them. After that, the wave of lightning crashed down upon the Dragonblood Legion. They were like a small boat on top of its raging waves, being thrown and rocked badly. Right now, intense pain racked their bodies, as if millions of needles were stabbing them. Careful, this lightning is divine lightning, shouted Long Chen. The divine bird was composed entirely of pure divine lightning, completely different from the previous lightning beasts. The energy of divine lightning was something extremely painful even to the dragonblood warriors. Therefore, Lai Long made its move. It charged into the sea of lightning, wrapping around Meng Chi, Dong Mingyu, Hu Jinying, Li Xiangxuan, and the healing warriors. Their physical bodies were unable to endure a direct strike from divine lightning, so Lai Long's protection was like a buffer, allowing them to absorb it slower. Suddenly, the divine bird let out a cry of sound waves that was crashing through the air. As its wings quivered, it pounced on the dragonblood legion. Smashing its wings smashed down like a heaven-splitting blade. Boom. In front of the giant wing, the dragonblood legion appeared incredibly minute. At the next moment, Guo Ran shouted, and everyone entered the defensive formation. Their defensive wall had only just formed when it was smashed apart. As a result, the dragonblood warriors coughed up blood, their insides breaking apart. With the divine lightning filling the air, the healing warriors were blocked from casting their spells to help. There was no way for them to heal everyone in time. The divine bird was absolutely terrifying, and they were unable to stop it. This was the first time the Dragonblood Legion encountered such terrifying heavenly tribulation. Just at this moment, its second attack came, and there was no way for the Dragonblood Legion to block it. Brood, do you think you can be so arrogant? The old man suddenly shouted furiously. As his white hair stood on end, a berserk fury soared. It was as if a god of battle had descended, and the heaven-splitting blade tore through the heavens. Split the heavens nine. The old man's roar was like thunder ringing through the air. In that instant, the heavens were cut in two, and his saber landed solidly on the divine bird. Boom. As a result, that terrifying divine bird was cut in two, transforming into divine runes that enveloped the dragonblood legion. However, the old man began to vomit blood, so Long Chen hastily came to support him. I'm fine. That divine bird was bizarre. It contained another world's will, 
and its offensive power was focused on the soul. If you encounter it, you have to be careful, said the old man. Despite how pale he was, he still appeared awe-inspiring. Just at this moment, Lai Long suddenly grew until it completely locked down the sea of divine lightning. The heavenly tribulation ended. The divine lightning was starting to fade, just as Lai Long now locked it inside, giving everyone even more time to absorb it. It also swiped some benefits for itself at the same time. The divine bird was dead, so the divine lightning's offensive will was wiped out. It went from a berserk beast to a gentle sheep and was easily absorbable. An incense sticks worth of time later, the divine lightning finally fully faded, and the dragon blood warrior's auras had completely transformed. They had finally entered the heaven merging realm, becoming one with heaven and earth. Ha ha ha. Success. Success. Invaders, you'll have to kneel between your daddy Guo's feet from now on. Tremble in fear laughed Guo Ran. Chapter 2646 The final wave the heavenly tribulation was over. Now, the experts around felt as if their power had instantly grown multiple times. Furthermore, they sensed as if they had become masters of heaven and earth. They could control all energy. It was a marvelous feeling. The dragon blood warriors cheered as their tribulation was over. They sensed boundless energy coursing through their bodies, and the feeling of being one with the world made them feel a sense of unprecedented content. This was the heaven merging realm. After merging with the heavenly deos, they were like a dragon returning to the sea, like a free bird flying through the sky. This was a feeling of absolute control. They could sense the breathing of the world and feel the flow of the deos. Any bottlenecks they had had in terms of comprehending the Tao were suddenly broken through instant enlightenment. They no longer seemed like they even existed. It was as if they were simply one with heaven and earth. Suddenly, rumbling rang out and shook the entire world. As the earth was shuddering, the laws of the heavenly deos were changing. The earth was glowing. It was as if a mysterious veil had covered the world. At the same time, mist began to flow out of the earth mixing with the laws of the heavenly deos. After such intense tribulations, the martial heaven continent has started to awaken, and the energy of the core of the world has been activated. This is the time for the final tribulations. The martial heaven continent's karmic luck will end up supporting someone here, said Kujinying. Ah, if that was the case, why didn't we wait until now for our tribulations? Kuo Ran's excitement instantly transformed into disappointment. They wouldn't have any chance of this karmic luck support. In the Devil Slaughter rankings, Long Chen had taken first place and gained some karmic luck support. However, he had given that to Guo Ran, letting him have the sweet taste of heaven defying luck. Now, hearing that this sweet taste was appearing again, Guo Ran immediately became vexed. Give it up. Just now, the final wave of the tribulation would have killed us if it wasn't for the old man. The next batch of tribulations might bring more benefits, but they'd also be the end for us, said Xia Chen. He wasn't greedy like Guo Ran. Just being able to muddle through the Dragon Blood Legion's tribulation had benefited him immensely. If he was on his own, he would have had to hurry up and go through one of the earlier batches of tribulations. Guo Ran's greed was never satisfied. He actually dared to try and touch the karmic luck of a sovereign. After hearing Xia Chen, Guo Ran felt that it was right. That heavenly tribulation just now had really been terrifying. The final wave had almost killed them. Suddenly, a streak of light flew through the air, and Mo Nian's voice rang out. Long Chen, you haven't gone through your tribulation either? Perfect. Let's join forces and go patrol. Mo Nian was flying with the earth-splitting divine shuttle. He had his bow on his back and his wretched smile on his face. His cultivation base was also at the peak of Nether Passage. Despite that, Mo Nian's aura was incredibly heavy. The divine energy coming from him had completely vanished, and he had already transformed. What patrol? Long Chen stared at him. This fellow always said some incomprehensible words when he first appeared. I'm going to go find the Aldevil Heavenwalker, Yi Ying, or the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. I'm going to charge into their tribulations midway. Come, if we work together, we can definitely con one or two of them to death. This is too good of a chance to miss. Mo Nian laughed sinisterly. Aren't they going through their tribulations in their own territories? Long Chen was still confused. Before Mo Nian replied, Kujianying said, 
Those who are undergoing tribulations in their own worlds are those that don't dare to enter the martial heaven continent, but the ones mentioned by Mo Nyan are exceptions. That is because they are already supported by the karmic luck of an entire world. They've long since obtained their world's approval. So the final tribulation can be done wherever they please. Didn't I tell you? People will fight over the final karmic luck of the continent when it appears. You have to be prepared for others to try and steal it. Did you forget? Long Chen clapped the back of his head. His head really had been stupid lately. So Mo Nian was planning on sneak attacking them. The final wave of heavenly tribulations is starting. Those fellows are definitely hiding. Thinking of taking the karmic luck. This is our best chance to attack them. Said Mo Nian. But. Suddenly. Rumbling rang out. The void in the distance was collapsing. And endless lightning was dancing. A berserk will erupted. An expert is undergoing tribulation. Quick. Let's go see who it is. Mo Nian didn't even wait for Long Chen. He transformed into a streak of light that shot away. Old man. I'll leave this place to you. I'm going to take a look. Said Long Chen. The old man had advanced to the heaven merging realm. Moreover. While wielding the heaven splitting blade and the heaven splitting divine tablet. He didn't fear anyone. With him here. Long Chen could be at ease. After that, Long Chen sped off, while Guo Ran and the others stared at each other. The old man said, you can go as well. We old timers will guard this place. But, Meng Chi wasn't so confident. If they left, what if Devil Spirit Mountain made a move? Go. As everyone is undergoing tribulation, the seniors like the High Priest and Daoist Heavenly Feather have definitely made their preparations. There are also the Divine Families. The chances of a sudden invasion are very low. So go, said Ku Jinying. Then we'll thank our seniors. Guo Ran hastily thanked them and happily left. The rest of the Dragonblood Legion also left with him. In fact, everyone else was also unable to stay sitting and ran over to take a look. Ling Shen, you can go too. It's fine. Ku Jinying smiled at Ji Ling Shen. She knew that Ji Ling Shen wanted to go. Only then did Ji Ling Shen go as well. At this moment, all the youngsters ran off, leaving a few 10,000 senior experts behind. Hu Fang, Novaloon.com When Long Chen arrived, he saw that the person at the center of the storm of lightning was the gambling heavenly Deo's heir, Hu Fang. Immersed within the lightning, Hu Fang bitterly smiled at Long Chen. Although it was within expectations, I'm still very disappointed. The heavenly Deos haven't shown any signs of supporting me. I am not this era's chosen son of the heavens. A sovereign had yet to manifest. So the karmic luck support had yet to appear. That indicated that every person who had yet to undergo tribulation had a chance. Everyone naturally wished to become sovereign. That person would be above all others. The master of the world's fate. However, when the cruel result appeared. Even someone like Hu Feng felt great disappointment. He was not the sovereign. Long Chen was about to speak when Hu Feng said, Brother Long, no need to comfort me. Although I'm disappointed, I am still the heir of the gambling heavenly Tao. I know my mission. I feel like you should be the chosen son of the heavens. In the end, Hu Feng was still Hu Feng. His heart was still clear. So his inner heart had to be powerful. Someone with a weaker heart might end up with the heart devil from such disappointment. Then they would die from the tribulation. At this moment, more rumbling rang out, and one terrifying aura after another rose. Many people were starting their tribulations. All of a sudden, Long Chen sensed one aura in particular and rushed off in that direction. Chapter 2647 Unable to acknowledge a master Zi Yan, Long Chen stood outside a sea of lightning and saw someone who looked like a celestial fairy sitting within it. Zi Yan slowly opened her eyes. Upon seeing Long Chen's concerned gaze, a warm smile appeared on her face. What? Why are your eyes so big? Do you not recognize me? Zi Yan truly did look different from before. Not wearing her normal white robes. She was dressed in a violet dress instead. Hence, Long Chen couldn't help being reminded of Sovereign Han Wei. This generation's master of the southern sea zither can be considered a continuation of my life. You have to treat her properly. Have confidence in her. Sovereign Han Wei's voice resounded in his mind Novaloon.com in her violet dress. Zi Yan appeared majestic and noble, like a goddess. 
It was similar to Sovereign Han Wei. You're just so beautiful that I forgot to breathe. So beautiful that I think of the lovers from my past life. So beautiful that I would go through water and fire for you. I would topple this entire world for you, said Long Chen, his voice quivering slightly. Sovereign Han Wei was the one in this world with the closest nature to him. It felt like they were soulmates. Despite her having left this world tens of thousands of years ago, his heart ached whenever he thought of her. Long Chen wished that Sovereign Han Wei hadn't died. He wished that he could save her. If so, he would be willing to overthrow this world with her. Right now, Zi Yan turned as red as an apple. Long Chen had never said such explicit words to her. So she rebuked. Are you trying to harm me? I'm in the middle of my tribulation. And you're disturbing my day oh heart. Oh, sorry. Long Chen hastily apologized. Those words had popped out of his mouth without thinking. Now he recalled that Zi Yan was in the midst of a dangerous tribulation and had to maintain a clear heart. Saying these things would increase the danger. Zi Yan was Zi Yan. Sovereign Han was Sovereign Han Wei. How could he treat Zi Yan as an image of Sovereign Han Wei? Do you like these new clothes? Zi Yan touched her dress, muttering almost without realizing it. I like you no matter what you wear, said Long Chen. If he was speaking to Tang Wan or he would definitely say that he'd like her even better if she wasn't wearing any clothes. But he couldn't say such a thing to Zi Yan. Zi Yan smiled. In truth, I also like these new clothes. So I'll just keep wearing these in the future. You should leave quickly. If you're here, I won't be able to put my heart at rest. Long Chen smiled and left. Despite that, Zi Yan's heart continued pounding hard in her chest. At this moment, a voice rang out in her mind. How is it? Didn't I tell you that these clothes were most suited to you, Senior Southern Sea? Why did you make me wear these clothes today? I was even scolded by the music master. He, but Long Chen seems to like them a lot. The scolding was worth it. Once Long Chen was gone, Zi Yan couldn't maintain her previous composure. Because these clothes suit you the most, you will understand in the future. Senior, why would you have these clothes? asked Zi Yan. This purple dress had been given to her by the Southern Sea Zither, and it had requested that she wore them today. They belonged to my last master. She was the same as you. Smart. Wise. With astonishing talent in the music Tao the Southern Sea Zither lost itself in memories. The music master wants me to become your master as fast as possible. She says that even the Western Desert Axe has acknowledged a master. Am I so lacking that I'm not worth being your master? asked Zi Yan suddenly. The Western Desert Axe had immediately taken Wild as its master as soon as it appeared, merging with his blood. However, there wasn't the slightest change by her and Yi's Hikyu. You haven't mentioned the matters between us to her, right? asked the Southern Sea Zither. No, I don't divulge the secrets between us to anyone, said Zi Yan. The Southern Sea Zither had begun communicating with Zi Yan a long time ago but it had also said that this communication was secret. That was why everyone within the elusive music Immortal Palace thought that Zi Yan had yet to obtain the Southern Sea Zither's acknowledgement. Perhaps seeing the Western Desert Axe acknowledge a master had made them anxious. So they were telling Zi Yan to think of any way possible to get the Southern Sea Zither to acknowledge her as its master. The war was about to start. Any longer and it would be too late. Good. Remember. Our secrets cannot be mentioned to anyone. The reason I have not acknowledged a master isn't because of me but because of you, said the southern sea zither. Because of me, Zi Yan was befuddled. You and that girl with the northern sore sword are the same. Both of you have reasons that you haven't been acknowledged yet. The northern sore sword is incredibly arrogant and cold. It has never communed with Yi's Hikyu. It's very patient though and is still waiting. I am also waiting. As for that foolish brat Wild, the reason the Western Desert Axe chose him is due to the destiny binding them together. As for you and me, our destiny has yet to arrive. Don't worry, you don't need to feel pressured by the elusive music Immortal Palace. Everything will come naturally, said the Southern Sea Zither. But, the music master, ignore her. You just need to work hard. That's enough. Calm down and focus on passing this tribulation. If your mental state remains so rattled, it will accelerate the pace of your tribulation. Just wait until the karmic luck support appears and then go all out. In the chaos, you can get your share, 
said the southern sea zither. Zi Yan nodded and closed her eyes. She allowed the wild lightning to continue flowing around her, and she didn't antagonize it. Everything followed the prescribed order. Not everyone was like the dragon blood legion, attacking the heavenly tribulation so fiercely. After Long Chen left Zi Yan's side, he sensed Ji Liang Chen, Long Aoshan, Jiang Wachen, and Feng Fei's auras. They had also started their tribulations, but there was no sign of that fabled karmic luck support. Long Chen also saw Nang Gong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang. The two of them were calmly sitting in their heavenly tribulations with no special phenomenon occurring around them either. Nang Gong Zuiyu was completely calm with no fluctuations. She merely smiled in greeting to Long Chen when he arrived. On the other hand, Bidang Rushuang's expression was a bit unsightly. She was clearly disappointed. She hadn't won this prize. Everyone undergoing tribulation now was having their tribulations progress slowly. They were waiting for the manifestation of the karmic luck support to appear. Long Chen's heart suddenly shook as he sensed something. So he flew over in another direction. Quickly arriving at a barren desert. There was another sea of lightning here. Within it was the white-robed Yan Tian standing with his hands clasped behind his back. Even as lightning descended from the sky, he remained indifferent, untouched. Yun Tian smiled at Long Chen. Even now, are you still unresident? Chapter 2648 Chosen Son of the Heavens Long Chen looked at Yun Tian with a complicated expression. He somewhat bitterly said, I really am unresident. Brother, you should be the one to lead the martial heaven continent. You are a true unrivaled heavenly genius Yun Tian was incredibly similar to Sovereign Yun Shang. Both of their temperaments were almost identical, and they possessed the same nobility. This nobility wasn't due to their bloodline, nor was it due to their cultivation, status, or anything like that. It was their eyes, the light that bemoaned the fate of the world and pity for mankind, the openness to accept everyone and everything. Long Chen had seen all five sovereigns. Although Sovereign Han Wei had been different from the rest, forming a resonance with his soul, she had also possessed the nobility of a sovereign. This nobility came from a completely selfless heart, one willing to give up everything to protect the martial heaven continent. Long Chen knew that he didn't possess this, that was why he had always hoped for this karmic luck support to fall on Yun Tian. However, upon seeing him, Long Chen was disappointed. No such phenomenon had manifested around Yun Tian. The thing Long Chen was most worried about was about to occur. Long Chen, skirting responsibility isn't your style, said Yun Tian. Long Chen shook his head. It really isn't my style, but I really worry about not being able to carry it out. Why? What counts as carrying it? asked Yun Tian. Well, Long Chen was startled. Did the sovereigns really do well? Hasn't the problem continued all the way until today? If their methods were correct, there wouldn't be invaders today. The martial heaven continent would be at peace. Don't feel any pressure because of them. You are you. Act according to yourself. If you try to imitate the sovereigns, how will you break the game? The martial heaven continent has chosen you. The sovereigns have chosen you. Perhaps that is precisely because your methods are different from anyone else. Don't you think? Yun Tian smiled. Yun Shian's words were like thunder exploding in Long Chen's mind. He was right. Sovereign Zi Yang had said that they had simply passed down the burden. In the end, the martial heaven continent's final fate was in the hands of their generation. The only way to extricate themselves from this problem was to do something unique. They had to do something completely different from before. Therefore, Yun Shian's words instantly cleared Long Chen's heart. Long Chen sighed at himself. Was he still a man? When had he become so cowardly? Who cared about all those worries? All that there was to do was fight. Fight to the death. Many thanks. Big brother. I understand. Seeing Long Chen's clear gaze, Yun Tian smiled. Find a good place to start your tribulation. I believe that they will come to fight over it. This is a fight to claim the very heavens. You have to be prepared. There's nothing to prepare. It's just whether or not they are brazen enough to charge into my heavenly tribulation to snatch what is mine, said Long Chen. Seeing his newfound confidence, Yun Tian nodded. He was reassured. I'm going to find a place with some more space. My tribulation might be a bit bigger. Long Chen flew to the west. 
He knew that there was a giant barren land there without any civilization. Long Chen, you start your tribulation first. I hope you don't get the karmic luck support. I, Mo Nian, am most suited for the spot of the sixth generation sovereign. Don't be disappointed if that karmic luck doesn't appear for you. Your big brother will look after you, said Mo Nian comfortingly as he followed Long Chen. Even if I'm not the sovereign, it's definitely not you. I've never seen such a wretched sovereign like you, responded Long Chen. Boss, you can start. We will protect you. Guo Ran and the others arrived, cheering Long Chen on. Seeing them, Long Chen took a deep breath. He closed his eyes and sensed his body, confirming that he was in peak form. Everything was ready. After that, he spread his arms. Boom. An explosion rang out from Long Chen's body like a dam had been broken. At this moment, berserk power gushed out, and a pillar of light soared into the sky, piercing the black clouds. These black clouds that shrouded the entire martial heaven continent rapidly withdrew as if afraid of Long Chen's power. As a result, a giant hole appeared, lighting up heaven and earth. It was currently daybreak, and the sun had just risen. So the warm sunlight fell on the earth. In that instant, it was as if a beacon of light had lit up the darkness. The black clouds were still fleeing. Darkness then once more covered the earth. Tribulation clouds formed above Long Chen and rapidly spread, quickly catching up to the withdrawing haze and blasting those clouds apart. Damn, we actually need to retreat even further. Don't get drawn into boss's tribulation shouted Guo Ran. They were already standing at an immense distance but they were still covered by the tribulation clouds. Boss's heavenly tribulation is too terrifying. It's ten times larger in scale than the entire Dragonblood Legion's tribulation. Then its power. Li Qi's hair stood on end. Their tribulation was so powerful that they had barely gotten through it. If it wasn't for the old man, the final divine bird would have run rampant over them. Long Chen's tribulation clouds were now ten times larger than their tribulation. In the end, it was covering a significant portion of the central plains. That pressure was something that made their hearts quiver even now that they had entered the heaven merging realm. Right now, countless experts had gathered to watch. Some people chose to use a formation to watch just to be safe. Anyone who saw those endless tribulation clouds had their hearts quiver. This tribulation was so terrifying right at the start. Although the tribulation clouds spread far into the distance. The core of it was still somewhat reasonable. As long as they didn't step into the core, theoretically, this tribulation wouldn't lock onto them. Some experts who were in the midst of undergoing their tribulations stared in that direction. Despite the distance being so great that they couldn't see Long Chen, they could sense an aura that made people tremble. Long Chen's tribulation is starting. Zi Yan looked over worriedly. She knew that Long Chen's heavenly tribulations were always incomparably shocking. They weren't trying to baptize him but kill him. At this moment, Yan Tian looked into the distance and smiled. As expected, the martial heaven continent's karmic luck has started to move. He is this era's chosen son of the heavens. Chapter 2649 Long Chen's fury explodes pillars of light soared out of the earth like dragons soaring into the heavenly tribulation. That's the aura of a dragon vein. It's the manifestation of karmic luck support. Boss is the chosen son of the heavens. The future sovereign shouted Xia Chen excitedly. As a formation master, he was aware that higher level formations needed a connection to underground dragon veins to bring out their greatest effect. Dragon veins were the lifeblood of the world, and it was now pouring into Long Chen, proving that the world's karmic luck was gathering around him. The highly anticipated karmic luck support had appeared. At this moment, Long Chen stood in the sky with his hands clasped behind him. He quietly watched as those dragons swam into a sphere of light up above. However, he didn't show any sign of happiness. Instead, his face was grave. This was an honor, but it was more than just that. It was a responsibility. The five sovereigns had chosen to accept this honor and ended up sacrificing even their lives. So what about him? Let me first say that I am rather selfish and I'm afraid of dying. My life is mine, my brothers, and my wives. No one can take it, said Long Chen quietly at the sphere of light. Long Chen didn't wish for this karmic luck support to become chains. He detested restrictions, so he first stated his position clearly. 
If he found something was off one day, he would put down this burden. Saying the ugly words first had no disadvantages. However, the sphere didn't seem to have any life and didn't respond at all. It just rested above Long Chen's head, growing larger and larger. Light enveloped Long Chen. In that instant, Long Chen felt himself melting, becoming one with the world. He could feel the world's pulse, feel its heart beating. He also felt a kind of sorrow. It was like a tottering elder with one foot in the grave was leaving the next generation to Long Chen. That soft light made Long Chen close his eyes and hear the world's voice. The silence said everything. He sensed a wordless pain. He couldn't see it, couldn't feel it, but his heart could sense it. Tears slowly dripped down his face. Those weren't his emotions, but the martial heaven continent's emotions. He felt sorrow, helplessness, worry, and unwillingness. Countless scenes appeared in his mind. He saw a peaceful world. Countless stars filled the sky during the night, and during the day, the sky was clear and blue. People lived blessed lives. But one day, darkness befell. Long Chen sensed sharp pain throughout his body as if millions of insects were biting into it. At the same time, a hand reached into his body and tightly clenched his heart. That evil hand crushed his heart, forcing out his lifeblood to feed those insects. He tried to struggle, but he found that his arms and legs were bound by countless chains. He couldn't move. He felt his body grow weaker and weaker as hundreds of holes filled his body. He was so weak that he couldn't resist. He could only wait for his death, for that hand to crush his heart. The earth is the mother that nourishes all living things with her body. She gives her everything but asks for nothing in return. Even when people take your oars and your blood, even when they destroy your body, you silently endure, never complaining or blaming anyone. People treat you like this, but you still care about them. Is there really a love that is completely and truly selfless? Long Chen knew that his spirit was resonating with the spirit of the Martial Heaven Continent. The Martial Heaven Continent was almost squeezed dead but was still unwilling to have all the lives living on it die. Long Chen felt only love from it, not even a hint of hatred. The world didn't ask Long Chen to save it. It only asked him to save the lives on the continent. Such feelings felt a bit foolish but were exceptionally moving. Hence, Long Chen couldn't hold back his tears. Perhaps someone who wasn't a mother or father could not comprehend such feelings, but they would still be deeply affected. Suddenly, his connection was severed. Long Chen's eyes flew open, and he saw the sphere above his head suddenly being sucked into a tear in the void. Something was taking it. That aura felt a bit familiar. That aura was the same as that evil hand. Bastard. Who are you? Long Chen furiously charged toward the light sphere. Just as he was about to grab it, it vanished without a trace. What everyone watching was stunned. The karmic luck had vanished? No. It had been snatched. What was going on? The excited dragon blood warriors felt like they had been slapped in the face. They were all stunned. They finally made their move. Within the void. Daoist Heavenly Feather and the High Priest were quietly watching everything. It was the High Priest who first spoke. The two of them were hidden in the void. No one noticed them. Just as Ku Jin Ying had said, they would definitely keep an eye on the world. Should we interfere and take the karmic luck back? Asked Daoist Heavenly Feather. Her expression grave. It's useless. The five supreme divine items have yet to gather. We can't fight it. Furthermore, of the ones that have appeared, only the Western Desert Axe has acknowledged a master. The others haven't. We can't take the karmic luck back, said the high priest. Then what can we do? Don't panic. We're not the only ones who care about the karmic luck pearl. The divine families care about it even more than us. And the experts from the other worlds will also make their move. Only when the heavenly tribulations end will the karmic luck pearl start supporting someone. So this will be a true battle of dragons and tigers. I trust that Long Chen won't disappoint us. We can just keep watching, said the High Priest. Then let's go over there first. Daoist Heavenly Feather and the High Priest silently vanished. The Karmic Luck Pearl had been stolen, and everyone was dumbfounded. Long Chen was still standing there, his tribulation clouds gathering above him. The lightning within boomed. The tribulation had yet to start, but its aura still frightened people. Long Chen's expression was dark. Just like the tribulation clouds above him, he was filled with fury. You dare to take what belongs to me? Good. 
Very good. Long Chen gnashed his teeth and suddenly closed his eyes to sense carefully. I've found it. The Martial Heaven Sea Ring. The Sea Demon Race. This time, if I don't slaughter you, I won't be Long Chen. Long Chen had a powerful connection to the Karmic Luck Pearl and could confirm that it was in a corner of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. Through the Karmic Luck Pearl, he even saw that detestable dragon woman. Seeing her smile in particular made him explode. That evil hand most likely belonged to the Heaven Devastating Bracelet at the bottom of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. The Heaven Devastating Bracelet was what was gripping the Martial Heaven Continent's lifeblood. Since that dragon woman was capable of using its power, that meant that they were comrades. She was the source of the chaos on the Martial Heaven Continent. Just wait. Today, I'll show you what it means to rather anger a Yama King than your daddy Long. Long Chen shot off in a certain direction. Boss, what are you doing? Shouted Guo Ran. Let's go. I'm inviting you to a seafood feast. Chapter 2650 I'll give you proof as Long Chen sped away. The void rumbled. The giant tribulation clouds followed him, blasting through the haze covering the continent like a ship breaking the heavens. Long Chen is enraged. The dark mark has reappeared on his forehead, said Meng Chi. An extremely faint black mark had appeared on Long Chen's forehead. It was extremely faint. Without looking carefully, it was impossible to see it. I remember. It seems to have appeared when Big Sister's Hikia was injured in the Jiuli secret realm as well as when Little Snow blocked the curse for Long Chen in the immemorial path, said Tang Wan'er. That black mark was something that not even Guo Ran and the others had noticed. The one to notice it first was Meng Chi. After that, she and the others had privately discussed this matter. Now it was here again. Long Chen's fury had clearly reached a peak. Chu Ya sighed. The sea demon race is about to face a tribulation ahead of time, with her years of experience with Long Chen. She understood him well. The current Long Chen wouldn't have any misjivings. Let's go. Perhaps we're really going to start a war with the Sea Demon Race, said Meng Chi. We're going to start fighting with the Sea Demon Race now? Isn't that just hurting ourselves and benefiting the invaders, said Yi Lingxian. When my boss's anger is like this, all his intelligence goes out the window. He doesn't care about any of that. Sister Lingxian, let's go. Boss has invited us to a seafood feast. There will definitely be enough seafood, but we'll have to prepare our own wine and snacks. Teased Guo Ran. The Northern Sea. This was where the Northern Xuan region met the Northern Source. The water here was extremely cold, but it was the part of the sea with the densest spiritual chi. This was where the leaders of the sea demon race gathered. It was similar to how the human race's experts gathered in the Central Plains. But the sea demon race's numbers far surpassed the humans. The deep sea hid countless secrets. No one knew how many terrifying life forms were present in the depths. Today, there was a giant sphere floating above the northern sea. Karmic luck thrummed within it. Beneath it was the dragon woman. She formed hand seals, absorbing the light of the karmic luck. She had a pleased smile on her face as lightning rained down above her. She was currently in the midst of undergoing tribulation along with the karmic luck pearl. The martial heaven continent's karmic luck is mine. No one can take it. Long Chen, you took my true dragon essence blood. So I'm not just going to take your karmic luck. I'm also going to make you spit out all your essence blood. Sneered the dragon woman proudly. There were three people in a triangular formation around her. The four of them were undergoing tribulation together. Two of them were the dragon guards that had appeared before, while the other was a new one with a slightly weaker aura. The original dragon guard had been killed by Long Chen, so they could only settle for the second best. The three of them seemed to be in some kind of formation, and a divine light was shining out of them. The dragon woman's aura was connected to them. Dragon woman, you have big guts to take what is mine. Suddenly, the void rumbled. Long Chen's voice rang out like a heavenly god's furious roar. As it spread through the majority of the world, a wild killing intent caused heaven and earth to change color. Long Chen had charged over from the central plains based on his senses. His tribulation had drawn the attention of countless experts who followed to see what was going on. The dragon woman sneered. What is yours? Did it have your name on it? What proof do you have that it's yours? When you stole my dragon scale. Weren't you quite tough? 
I'm just returning your own words now. What? You don't like it. You want proof. I'll give you proof. Giant tribulation cloud suddenly came charging over, and the dragon woman's expression changed. She had never seen such a terrifying tribulation. Long Chen's tribulation clouds were dozens of times bigger than hers, and the destructive aura contained within gave her chills. The karmic luck pearl above the dragon woman's head began to quiver. Since it belonged to Long Chen, it tried to charge toward him. However, there was some invisible energy binding it and taking its energy for the dragon woman. Its struggling was unable to escape that energy. Just at this moment, countless experts arrived and saw the karmic luck pearl trying to escape toward Long Chen. They were shocked and enraged. I, Long Chen, didn't want to become an executioner with hands full of blood. But there are always idiots forcing me to be one. Since you have no respect or gratitude for this world. I will become this world's executioner Long Chen suddenly punched upward. A fist image crashed into the heavenly tribulation clouds, blasting a hole in them. What people were horrified. The scale of Long Chen's tribulation was already so terrifying, but he still dared to antagonize it? Even though the auras of the other worlds had entered the martial heaven continent, changing the laws of the heavenly deos. The sequence of the heavenly tribulation had not changed Novaloon.com The start when the tribulation clouds were gathering was to prepare the cultivator. Then a rain of lightning would fall to give the cultivator a chance to warm up. After that, the tribulation would get stronger step by step. However, if you were to attack the tribulation, not only would it increase its range and power, but it would accelerate the pace at which it progressed. As expected. The tribulation clouds rapidly reformed, this time with even greater power. Long Chen attacked again, blasting another hole in the clouds which quickly reformed. He repeatedly attacked, causing the tribulation clouds to grow explosively. At this moment, the tribulation clouds changed and a strange sound rang out. It was as if the void was being crushed to bits. Some experts began bleeding from their ears, eyes, and noses without even being aware of it. When they saw the bleeding, they turned green and fled for their lives. Long Chen's tribulation was horrifying. It had grown dozens of times now. His tribulation clouds covered the northern Xuan region and the northern Sources Sea region. I can't see him. Set up a formation. Even if I die, I can't miss this battle shouts rang out. Due to the immense distance that they were forced back, they were only able to see endless tribulation clouds but not what was happening inside. Only a small portion of Supreme Experts was able to keep watching from a shorter distance. So the majority were forced far into the distance. Despite not being at the core of the tribulation, just the outer regions were too terrifying. Long Chen, what are you trying to do? Are you challenging the sea demon race to a war? Demanded the dragon woman. Even she was afraid now. Long Chen didn't respond. What responded to her was his heavenly tribulation. One terrifying lightning beast after another descended from the tribulation clouds. Their terrifying aura shook people. Demonic Kings. Chapter 2651 Drawing lightning into the sea Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Guo Ran, and the others all jumped. Although they knew that Long Chen's heavenly tribulation would be the most terrifying of all, they were still shocked to see that the very first wave, which was also the weakest wave, was actually a wave of lightning beasts on the level of demonic kings. Those demonic king lightning beasts had reached a horrifying level, and the dragon blood legion had been unable to handle just one. If it hadn't been for the old man killing it in one awe-inspiring blow, they would have been in danger of being wiped out. One, two, there, as the tribulation clouds split open, giant lightning beasts descended, charging at Long Chen. The one crack in the tribulation clouds was only able to allow a single giant beast to descend at once. Now, it was like a beehive had been split open, and countless demonic king lightning beasts descended. Everyone watching this scene was dumbfounded, including the dragon woman. Those lightning beasts possessed an aura of annihilation. It was as if they were beasts released from hell. At this moment, tens of thousands of demonic king lightning beasts charged at Long Chen who only snorted and took a single step, shooting toward the dragon woman. Long Chen, you're shameless the dragon woman's expression changed. Long Chen was pulling her into his tribulation, forcing her to go through it with him. Hence, she tried to flee, 
unwilling to enter such a terrifying tribulation. However, she was shocked to find that her own tribulation had been covered by Long Chen's. Although her tribulation hadn't been devoured, they were now bound together, and it was only a matter of time until her tribulation was assimilated. Moreover, she could not leave the range of her heavenly tribulation. If she did, it would signify failure, and it would be impossible for her to advance to the heaven-merging realm in this lifetime. No matter how shameless I am, I can't match the shamelessness of you parasites. Today is the start of the extinction of the sea demon race. Long Chen suddenly charged toward one of her dragon guards, unleashing a punch. The dragon guard didn't show any panic. Instead, he sneered disdainfully. The void shook. Long Chen's fist was repelled by an invisible force, and blood splashed out. At one point, a barrier had appeared around the three dragon guards. It was a double triangle that safely protected the dragon woman inside. After that, a sweeping aura appeared, one that was so vast that it felt like it could devour everyone as if they were ants. That is its power. Daoist Heavenly Feather's heart shook. That thing's power was greater than she had expected. Long Chen, do you think you can break my barrier with that little bit of power? Keep dreaming, sneered the dragon woman. Long Chen's expression grew even colder. The heaven devastating bracelet's power? The sea demon race really is courting death. Since that's the case, let's play. Long Chen didn't charge into the barrier again. Instead, he dove into the martial heaven sea ring. Following him, the demonic king lightning beasts charged into the martial heaven sea ring as well. The entire northern sea began to roil as if it was boiling. As a result, huge waves exploded and countless giant corpses floated up onto the sea. Those were sea demons killed by the lightning. Long Chen, you bastard. Stop. The dragon woman's expression completely changed. This was the headquarters of the sea demon race. Although there was a barrier protecting this place, that barrier was unable to bear a single blow from the power of this heavenly tribulation. Hence, tens of thousands of lightning beasts were charging in. The sea demon race had strengthened their defenses when Long Chen came with his tribulation. All their defenses were fully activated, but they were simply blasted apart. The dragon woman roared furiously, but her barrier had been activated, so she was unable to leave. More and more demonic king lightning beasts followed Long Chen into the sea. They were all drawn into the depths by him. As a result, corpses floated up onto the sea. As the tide pulled them into the distance, it looked as if the entire sea was covered in corpses. Down below. Long Chen suddenly felt a chill on his back. He hastily dodged to the side, narrowly avoiding a beam of golden light. A mass of the demonic king lightning beasts following him had been killed by this attack. A terrifying expert had appeared. Long Chen, you're a too much of a disadvantage fighting here. Leave, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded. This attack had been unleashed from the depths of the sea. The lightning was unable to reach it. So even though it had interfered, the heavenly tribulation was unable to lock onto the attacker. If Long Chen continued descending, he would simply become a target. The lightning tribulation had only just started. However, the sea demon race had activated their defenses and seemed to want to resist him at all costs. Since they didn't choose to flee, he was at ease. He trusted that his tribulation would not disappoint them. They could take things slowly. Boom. Long Chen charged out of the sea, howling. He smashed a fist at one of the demonic king lightning beasts, striking its head, and it instantly blasted apart into runes. Seeing that Long Chen could destroy these terrifying beasts in one blow shocked Guo Ran and the others. After that, one lightning beast after another was killed as Long Chen's fists danced through the air. Right now, his entire body was covered in lightning runes. He was using Lai Long's power to perfectly match the power of these lightning beasts. In terms of actual combat power, wanting to kill a demonic king was very taxing for him, but it was different with Lai Long's assistance. He could absorb the power of the demonic king lightning beasts as he killed them. With his next punch, he just needed to inject a tenth of that power into his next target, and that lightning beast would shatter like porcelain. Since Lai Long kept 90% of the power of each lightning beast that he killed, its power rapidly rose and it became easier and easier to kill these lightning beasts. As Long Chen killed the lightning beasts, they also affected the dragon woman. 
that was because her lightning tribulation had already been consumed by Long Chan's, so she had to undergo her tribulation with him now. More and more lightning beasts struck her barrier, and it was rapidly weakening after being struck by tens of thousands of lightning beasts. In just a few short minutes, it shattered. When the barrier shattered, the karmic luck pearl above her head suddenly escaped its bindings and charged toward Long Chen. Seeing this scene, her expression changed and she chased after it. She quickly formed hand seals, and blood-colored chains shot out. Boom. The dragon woman wanted to capture the karmic luck pearl again, but suddenly a fist came smashing toward her face. Even before the fist arrived, a horrifying killing intent made it impossible for her to breathe. It was Long Chen who had come charging over. His eyes were completely icy as if a killing god had possessed him. The dragon woman hastily blocked, resulting in her arms being shattered. She hacked up blood and was sent flying. Just as the karmic luck pearl was about to fall into the place above Long Chen's head, a blood-colored hand reached toward it. Chapter 2652 Did I give you face? Boss, watch out. It's the blood fiend devil lord. Guo Ran immediately cried out when the blood-colored hand appeared. That aura was far too familiar for him. It was the owner of this hand that had once pushed the dragon blood legion into desperate straits. Hence, Guo Ran and the others would never be able to forget this aura. When this hand appeared, Long Chen had no choice but to give up on chasing down the dragon woman. A lightning blade appeared in his hand, and he slashed it at the hand. The lightning beasts in front of him exploded on contact with this blade. This was why Long Chen was using a lightning blade and not Evil Moon, which wouldn't have such efficiency against the lightning beasts. Boom. The lightning blade landed solidly on the blood-colored hand. Both exploded and the resulting explosion revealed a long-haired man with a blood sun above his head. It was the blood fiend Devil Lord. The light from the blood sun enveloped him, making him look like a demon lord. With him were his eight protectors. The eight of them stood behind him. Divine items in hand. The martial heaven continent's destiny has come to an end. This karmic luck spirit pearl belongs to me. Long Chen. If you can adapt. You can be one of my subordinates. I won't mistreat you. Said the blood fiend devil lord. Who the hell do you think you are? Today I'll beat you into the blood fiend devil dog. Snorted Long Chen. He stepped forward smashing a fist at the blood fiend devil lord it seems that you won't accept it until you are forced you aren't the only one in this world who can control lightning the blood fiend devil lord smiled coldly and unleashed a punch as well long chen's fist was covered in surging lightning while the blood fiend devil lord's fist was covered in blood chi however this blood chi also had lightning runes within it boom an explosion shook the void Lightning runes exploded and unleashed a ripple that caused a chain reaction, destroying all the lightning beasts that they touched. Tens of thousands of demonic king lightning beasts were wiped out just like that, stunning all the experts watching. Just what kind of power was this? Their two fists were still colliding with each other. Two different forms of lightning mixed, occasionally unleashing blinding light and occasionally sucking away all light from the world. I control the blood race's heavenly punishment power and an entire world's karmic luck. As for you, you have yet to obtain the official approval from your world. Furthermore, even if you do, so what? Your world is at an end. It has one foot in the grave, so its approval is meaningless. How much power can it give you? Sneered the blood fiend devil lord. He still had one hand behind him like he was emperor. As the two kinds of lightning clashed, minute cracks appeared in the void constantly flickering space was showing signs of crumbling under their power the arrival of the blood fiend devil lord placed heavy pressure on all the martial heaven continents experts when the blood fiend devil lord had first charged into the martial heaven continent all on his own he had challenged the entire dragon blood legion even with the dragon blood legion's full power they hadn't been able to force him to stay behind hence his name was known to all on the continent now he still appeared calm and indifferent even when facing Long Chen, as if he didn't view Long Chen as a real opponent. People's hearts clenched tightly. Was the difference really so great? As lightning boomed, the blood fiend devil lord sneered. Your lightning is nothing more than pow. He was suddenly interrupted by a slap in the face. Long Chen's left hand had gone out in a beautiful and profound arc to viciously strike his face. 
sending the powerful blood fiend devil lord flying. Did I give you too much face? I was just studying your lightning, and you sneered at me, cursed Long Chen furiously. He quickly followed up, stamping a foot at the blood fiend devil lord's face. Long Chen had never seen such lightning, and Lai Long was also excited to see it. That was why Long Chen had been patiently allowing Lai Long to absorb it. Moreover, in order to prevent the blood fiend devil lord from noticing, Long Chen didn't unleash his full power. This resulted in the blood fiend devil lord thinking that Long Chen's lightning was weak and sneering at him. Hence, Long Chen's fury burst forth and he directly slapped him. The dragon blood warriors cheered excitedly when they saw this. In front of their boss, it didn't matter who it was. They had to be obedient, or he would slap them in the face. Long Chen's face slapping art had reached the level of a heaven-defying ultimate technique. No one could dodge it, let alone someone who had never seen it before. At such close distance, not even the blood fiend devil lord could dodge it. This face slap was both satisfying and addicting. In truth, the blood fiend devil lord was intentionally infuriating Long Chen. The karmic luck pearl was above Long Chen's head. All who fought him might be able to get a touch of that karmic luck. Although it might just be the slightest bit, it was very important. Anyone who obtained a bit of it could obtain the martial heaven continent's approval and no longer face the slightest expulsion. The other experts of the blood race undergoing tribulation in the yin-yang world would at the very least feel the slightest bit of expulsion upon entering the martial heaven continent. This wasn't their home, but obtaining this karmic luck would allow the blood fiend devil lord to control the power of the martial heaven continent which was why he had made his move. He infuriated Long Chen to get Long Chen to attack him and let him be touched by more of the karmic luck. The more infected with that karmic luck he became, the more likely the karmic luck pearl would choose him as its master once Long Chen was killed. These were the laws of heaven and earth that no one could change. The blood fiend devil lord had succeeded in his goal. Long Chen had gotten angry and had directly slapped him. His head was still ringing from that attack and he had yet to recover when Long Chen's foot slammed onto his face. Boom. The blood fiend devil lord was sent into the sea. His face completely deformed. Seawater exploded, unleashing a wave that spread to all ends of the sea. Everyone was dumbfounded. Just now, the arrogant and domineering blood fiend devil lord that was seemingly untouchable had been struck in the face twice? Was it a misperception? Master. His eight guards were completely shocked. They had never seen him suffer such a loss. They were about to charge into the sea when a pillar of water soared into the sky at Long Chen. Long Chen, you dare to humiliate this lord. The blood fiend devil lord was now furious. His blood sun quivered, unleashing blood chi that infected this world. Just at this moment, a demonic ray of divine light fell toward Long Chen's back. This attack was filled with devil chi. It's the Aldevil Heavenwalker. Gu Yang and the others cried out. He had also appeared. Although no one saw him yet, they were definitely not wrong about that aura. Chapter 2653 Aldevil Heaven Walker Boom. Long Chen didn't turn back. He simply smashed a fist behind him and the divine light exploded, transforming into a wave of devil chi. This devil chi was not immediately crushed by the sea of lightning. It seemed it had a certain resistance to lightning. The devil chi twisted and turned condensing into a demonic man with a black horn and a pair of wings. It's the Aldevil Heavenwalker. Countless experts quivered. He was the one who had defeated both Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen in front of Devil Spirit Mountain. Jiang Wachen had even had his leg cut off. In that battle, the Aldevil Heavenwalker had been so powerful that the Martial Heaven Continent's experts had been unable to pose any serious threat to him. He had come back now. Long Chen dodged the blood fiend devil lord's furious attack and looked at the Aldevil Heavenwalker. He nodded. Yes, I can confirm from your eyes that you're someone that I conned. After sleeping on a chamber pit for a few years, how did a life rod end up growing on your head? Is this an evolution from smelling piss too long? Guo Ran and the other shock was broken by these simple words. They were unable to hold back a chuckle. They now realized that the black horn on the Aldevil Heavenwalker's head truly was strangely shaped. Yes, the head was thicker than the rest of it. Yes, it really was a bit similar. Meng Chi and the others had blank faces, not knowing what Long Chen was talking about. But they saw Gu Yang and the others laughing, 
as well as others staring oddly at the Aldeville Heavenwalker's horn. Long Chen, I'll make you die a miserable death today. The originally calm Aldeville Heavenwalker instantly blew up in anger. He was a peerless expert who had been sealed into a divine fetus to one day come out and dominate the world. However, when he woke up, he found himself sleeping on a smelly chamber pot. Let alone him, even an ordinary person would be unable to accept such a humiliation. In his fury, he directly charged onto the Martial Heaven Continent to vent without alerting anyone. After that, since Long Chen didn't appear, he could only return to the entrance of the Devil World at the bottom of the Devil Sea of Devil Spirit Mountain. He then cultivated to the great circle of his realm, as well as took out a certain treasure. Having been in seclusion when Long Chen had taken the Western Desert Axe, he had missed another chance to fight with Long Chen. Now he returned not just to take the Karmic Luck Pearl but also to personally resolve his enmity with Long Chen, Chang Hao, and Bao Buping by killing them. However, with just a few simple words, Long Chen managed to fully ignite the fury inside his heart. He was actually making a joke of his Devil Emperor Horn. That was the greatest insult possible to his bloodline. Die. The Aldevil Heavenwalker immediately unleashed a killing blow. Devil Chi swirled around him as he unleashed a punch. The raging Devil Chi blasted apart the nearby demonic king lightning beasts. That sight was incredibly shocking. Heavens. These terrifying lightning beast kings are nothing in front of them. Exclaimed one person. To these regular experts. These lightning beasts were existences on the level of nightmares. If they encountered these lightning beasts, they definitely die. However, these lightning beasts appeared incredibly weak, unable to receive a single blow from Long Chen, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, and the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. Lightning and Devil Chi exploded, while Long Chen and the Aldevil Heavenwalker both retreated. Long Chen snorted and sent a kick at the dragon woman charging over at him. Her fist struck his foot, and he borrowed the impact to dodge the Blood Fiend Devil Lord's attack. Three against one? Do you think that I'm afraid? Battle intent overflowed out of Long Chen. His blood was boiling inside of him. This was his blood that thirsted for battle Novaloon.com you to retreat. I'll fight him alone, shouted the Aldevil Heaven Walker as he attacked Long Chen. What a joke. Do you think that's possible? sneered the Dragon Woman, also charging over at Long Chen. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord sneered. Although he didn't say anything, that expression was full of contempt. The three of them pounced. A fierce battle with Long Chen would allow them to be touched by more of the karmic luck. So no one was willing to let go of this opportunity. That was why this request from the Aldevil Heavenwalker was a giant joke. At this moment, divine lightning wrapped around Long Chen like a layer of battle armor. He fought with his fists against all three of them. Don't worry. In terms of close-range combat, if my boss claimed himself to be number two, no one in this world would dare to say that they were number one, said Guo Ran confidently upon seeing Men Chi and the others' worried expressions. He was clearest on Long Chen's close combat capabilities that were practically unrivaled. That was because fighting at that range was based on the courage to spill blood and risk death. At the very least, in Guo Ran's memories, Long Chen had never been at a disadvantage against anyone. Guo Ran had only just spoken when it was like Long Chen was replying to him. A hand struck the Aldevil Heavenwalker's face, sending him tumbling back. Don't shake that thing on your head at me like that. It's very disgusting, don't you know? Long Chen didn't forget to mock his enemy after striking him. Hearing that, Men Chi and the others turned red. Only now did they understand why Gu Yang and the others were laughing before. This fellow was far too coarse. The surrounding experts were dumbfounded. Was Long Chen defying the heavens? He had just slapped the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, and now he slapped the Aldevil Heaven Walker. This was an intense battle where he was one against three, but he could still slap someone in the face. Just how did he do this? In all my years, this is my first time feeling like prostrating myself in admiration to a technique, hidden within the void. The high priest couldn't help sighing in praise. He had never seen a technique like this even with all his experience. Daoist Heavenly Feather also nodded. She had lived for many years and seen countless geniuses. She herself had studied countless amazing divine arts. But this technique of Long Chen's had reached a sublime realm. It was practically perfect. 
Even in a chaotic battle, he could land a slap on his opponent's face. Even the high priest and Daoist Heavenly Feather were sighing in amazement, let alone the other experts. They practically viewed Long Chen as a god now. Peerless heavenly geniuses, rulers of their own worlds, as long as they encountered Long Chen, they would still be slapped in the face. This technique had little ability to damage someone physically, but the mental wound was much worse. It was heaven defying. The Aldevil Heaven Walker was slapped, causing the Blood Fiend Devil Lord to feel some satisfaction. He had also been slapped by Long Chen and lost his face. Now that someone else had been slapped, it felt like he had been comforted. A small smile appeared on his face. However, as soon as that smile appeared, he was also slapped from an inconceivable angle. His head buzzed. What are you smiling about? Does your face not hurt? Sneered Long Chen. The Aldevil Heaven Walker and the Blood Fiend Devil Lord both roared furiously, practically going insane. Just as they were about to explode, the sky turned dark. A vast power enveloped them. Chapter 2654 Wild Beast Nine-Headed Lion A giant claw covering the sky descended, covering all four of them. Courting death, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord and Aldevil Heaven Walker were enraged. This newcomer was far too arrogant, intending to suppress all four of them at once. Scram. The two of them attacked together, unleashing Devil Chi and Blood Chi that shattered the claw. After that, the void trembled and a figure appeared before Long Chen. It was an extremely muscular man with a sharp claw that fell toward Long Chen's throat. Fool. Long Chen was also enraged. This person really was an idiot for daring to look down on him. Hence, Long Chen swung his hand. Boom. His hand struck that person's face, but his face didn't budge in the slightest. Instead, it was Long Chen's hand that hurt. Startled. Long Chen suddenly pushed with his hand and retreated, narrowly dodging that person's claw. The wind from that claw was so sharp that it cut Long Chen's throat and caused him to bleed. Everyone was startled. Long Chen's slap was incredibly powerful, but it was unable to shake that person. They finally got a chance to look at the attacker. It was someone over 3 meters tall with extremely wide shoulders, so muscular that he was like an iron tower. His body was covered in golden fur and he looked like a savage. He gave off a heavy sense of pressure like a mountain that could not be moved. Most shocking of all was that he had no ears. Starting from his neck, he had fist-sized lumps. Every lump had a beast's face. There were a total of eight lumps, with each looking like a miniature head. All their eyes were staring at Long Chen. I don't want your karmic luck. I want your true dragon essence blood. The strange life form opened its mouth. His voice was as rough as iron but it shook the heavens. Even within the heavenly tribulation, his voice echoed. I don't want that much on the other hand. I just want your life. Even the appearance of another terrifying expert didn't shake Long Chen. Ha ha ha. The strange life form laughed. My life? What a joke. I am from the emperor race of the demon world. I command all beasts. Not even your dragon might can touch me. In the demon world. Every heaven stage I advance brings forth heavenly tribulation, and my physical body has never been damaged despite all those tribulations. I have an unbreakable golden body. No one can kill me. Long Chen, you have to be careful. This person is a nine-headed lion. He's very difficult to deal with. He has nine heads, which are equivalent to nine lives. Do you see those eight miniature heads? They are all different. There's a falcon, dragon, tiger. Wolf. Every one of those heads can control a divine ability. Don't be careless, warned Evil Moon. The nine-headed lion was a beast that shouldn't exist in this world. They were all extremely powerful and not accepted by heaven and earth. That was why others only had tribulations once every major realm, while they had tribulations every minor realm. It was also due to this terrifying baptism of heavenly tribulation that their physical bodies had reached a shocking level. Nine-headed lion? Nine lives? Then I just have to kill you nine times, sneered Long Chen toward the nine-headed lion's provocation. The rumbling of the heavenly tribulation grew even more intense, as the nine-headed lion, blood fiend devil lord, aldevil heaven walker, and the dragon woman charged into Long Chen's tribulation. It grew even more berserk. More and more of the demonic king lightning beasts appeared. However, even as they charged at the five of them, 
They were simply blasted away by the auras. The five of them were able to completely ignore the lightning beasts. It was as if the tribulation itself was nothing, and they had simply found a place with good Feng Shu to fight instead. The sea of lightning was negligible. The martial heaven continent's experts involuntarily gulped. This scene was truly stunning. With lightning wrapped around him, Long Chen was like a god of lightning. Inside of him, Lai Long was crazily devouring the tribulation lightning. It was crying out in joy. This was the greatest feast of its lifetime. Suddenly, the tribulation shuddered as more balls of lightning came flying over from different directions. People saw Long Aoshan, Yi Liangchen, Jiang Wachen, Feng Fei, Hu Fang, the Pill Fairy, Zi Yan, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, Zeman Shiangsheng, and other experts. They've finally come. These were the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. Now that they had come to reinforce Long Chen, they should be able to win. That's Yun Tian when people saw Yun Tian. He was instantly recognized. His aura was definitely that of a sovereign. Of everyone. Only he possessed the requisite nobility. Yun Tian had also come and entered Long Chen's tribulation. But he was standing at the edge. Not joining in on the battlefield. Big brother Yun Tian. Let us join forces against the invading enemies. Said Hu Fang. Yun Tian shook his head. If we enter the tribulation, we will be taking Long Chen's karmic luck. That will decrease the chance of Long Chen obtaining it in the end. I'm only here to provide support for Long Chen. I trust that he will definitely be the final winner. He is this era's sovereign for Yun Tian to say this stunned everyone. As sovereign Yun Chang's son, he couldn't be wrong. However, how could Long Chen really face so many experts on his own? If no one helped him, he would be killed. Boom. Just as everyone was stunned, another person in a mass of tribulation came charging into the battlefield. It's Yi Ming. One sharp-eyed individual instantly saw who it was. It was the corrupt path's reincarnated god, Yi Ming. Today, Yi Ming was covered in roiling black chi that contained some kind of indescribable aura. There were countless runes transforming within. Yi Ming, you traitor. Seeing the aura of the undying race on your body, it's clear you've betrayed the martial heaven continent, said Long Chen coldly. Within resentful death city, Long Chen had learned everything from Sovereign Zi Yang. The corrupt path had defected to the undying race, helping them fight the martial heaven continent. Yi Ming's aura had also grown more frightening. He had definitely inherited some divine abilities from the undying race. Although the righteous and corrupt path were enemies, the battle between them had always been a battle within the martial heaven continent. Now that the corrupt path had joined the undying race, they were held in contempt and hated by all. Traitor? No. I, Yi Ming, will always be the corrupt god's devout follower. As for the martial heaven continent, it seems that we have never been friends, right? Where does this talk of betrayal come from? Long Chen, I am no longer the old me. You have to be careful. Don't give me a chance to take your life in one attack. Yi Ming smiled sinisterly at Long Chen. Strange runes flickering in his eyes. Yi Ming, you won't have that chance. I, Jiang Wachen, will personally handle you. Just at this moment, the pill fairy, Long Aoshan, Yi Liangchen, Feng Fei, and Jiang Wachen entered the tribulation as well. Chapter 2655 Gate of the Heavens Yi Ming didn't even look at Jiang Wachen. Someone who had his leg cut off isn't qualified to speak to me. Jiang Wachen's expression sank. The humiliation of having the Aldevil Heaven Walker cut off his leg was his life's greatest humiliation. Even Yi Ming was insulting him. Don't be brash. Save your energy. When the final wave of the tribulation comes, we'll have to go all out. Feng Fei pressed a hand against Jiang Wachen who was about to explode. Only then did Jiang Wachen snort and shut his mouth. Feng Fei turned to Long Chen. At this time, we should be united. Long Chen looked at Feng Fei. Is that earnest? Feng Fei nodded. Yes. Long Chen also nodded and turned away. However, he sent a secret spiritual message back to her. In a bit, when I tell you to leave, make sure to leave the core of the tribulation. Otherwise, don't blame me if you die. Feng Fei was startled. However, she didn't express any shock outside. Long Chen then turned to the pill fairy, who hadn't just come by herself. She had also brought Wan Qing, 
It had been a long time since he had seen Wang Qing. She was even more beautiful than before, but her face was a bit pale. When she saw Long Chen, her eyes reddened. She wanted to cry, but she endured it. Long Chen coldly said to the pill fairy, You shouldn't have brought her. Why not? said the pill fairy indifferently. Because she will see something that she doesn't want to see, said Long Chen gloomily. His disappointment in the pill fairy was growing greater and greater. He even found her contemptible now. The pill fairy eyed Long Chen. Oh, perhaps you're overthinking it. I don't need to use my little sister to kill you. I might be a divine daughter, but I still have affection. I won't harm those that I love. I brought her here to gain a touch of the martial heaven continent's karmic luck. If I die, she will be able to stand on her own two feet. No one will be able to bully her. Big sister, Wan Qing choked down a sob. The sight that she didn't wish to see the most was appearing. She didn't want to see Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan fighting each other. That was the cruelest thing in the world to her. The pill fairy patted her gently and then returned to Long Chen. Go ahead with your tribulation in peace. I won't kill you in front of Wan Qing. But if you are killed by others, I will personally take the karmic luck pearl. If you don't want Wan Qing to see you die, work hard on surviving instead of shouting at me. The pill fairy brought Wan Qing to the edge of the core region, expressing her position. What an arrogant woman. I like it. The nine-headed lion's gaze lit up. He stared at the pill fairy. Scram. The pill fairy frowned and suddenly extended a hand. White flames condensed into a bolt of light. Boom. The nine-headed lion sneered and slammed a palm on that white bolt. Flames exploded. At that moment, his expression suddenly changed. He roared and struck his own chest. He coughed up a mouthful of blood that instantly evaporated, transforming into nothingness. Vague white lotuses could be seen amongst the blood as they faded. What kind of flame is that? Long Chen's heart shook. That white flame was clearly the pill fairy's core flame, but it also contained a terrifying divine energy. Is it a divine flame? Long Chen suddenly thought of Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Night. That aura was extremely similar. This white flame was extremely bizarre. The nine-headed lion had clearly blocked it, but it still invaded his body. If he hadn't sensed it fast enough, he might already be seriously injured. Even his life might be in danger. The nine-headed lion was shocked and infuriated. His golden fur blazed with light. Even as his aura grew increasingly frightening, the pill fairy didn't even look at him. I, Yu Kingsuan, came here to watch the battle. I don't represent the martial heaven continent or pill valley. I only represent myself. Due to this, I will not be helping any side. But if anyone provokes me, don't blame me for replying viciously. Her words startled everyone. Was Pill Valley not part of the Martial Heaven continent? How could she choose to be neutral at this time? Even now, she refused to put down her selfish desires? Everyone was dumbfounded. What did the Pill Fairy mean when she said that she didn't represent the Martial Heaven continent or Pill Valley? Was that to say that she was using her status as Divine Daughter to watch? The core of the Heavenly Tribulation began to grow as more people entered it. Its aura also changed. However, Yan Shian's words made it so that Hu Fang, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, Zeman Shiangsheng, and the other experts didn't enter it. Hu Fang and the others trusted Yan Tian. He was a sovereign's son, so he had to know more than them. Since they trusted him, they also chose to stand and watch what was unfolding. Be careful. If you get close to me, the heavenly tribulation will grow stronger, said Yan Tian, looking up into the sky. Hu Feng and the others were startled. Just as they were drawing close to Yan Tian, the world rumbled. The sky split apart and a giant gate appeared. It was as if the gate to the heavens had been opened. Endless life forms came flying out of the heavenly gate. Looking at it, Nangong Zuayu and the others' hearts shook. Those life forms were extremely varied. There were some giant beasts, sinister fiends, armies wearing ancient armor, and other nameless life forms with soaring blood chi. In that instant, it became hell on earth. Those terrifying life forms charged over to Long Chen. Like an hourglass that had been breached and all the sand was pouring out, those life forms quickly filled the world. Long Chen and the others were instantly submerged by them. Even Yan Shian's side was also affected. Hence, Yan Tian formed hand seals. 
summoning a barrier of divine light that protected them. The others also attacked the life forms, trying to kill them. They were shocked to find that these life forms were incredibly powerful. Their realms had reached the early heaven merging realm. These life forms were terrifying experts that had been branded into the heavens. In terms of true power, they would not lose out to ordinary mid-heaven merging experts. This was a truly apocalyptical tribulation. The only thing that comforted them was Yun Shian's barrier, which weakened these life forms, causing their lightning runes to dim. Despite that, one human-shaped life form wearing ancient robes still managed to break Zeman Shiangsheng's shoulder with a sword. If Hu Feng hadn't intervened, Zeman Shiangsheng might have been killed by another life form. Everyone was stunned. They were only watching from the very edge, so the pressure that Long Chen's group was under had to be at least ten times greater. Boom. When they looked toward the center, the void there suddenly exploded. Within a sea of lightning, Long Chen's foot was firmly embedded into the nine-headed lion's face. Dragon scales covered his body, and a dragon roar resounded through the sky. Chapter 2656 Messy Battle Even at this time, they're still fighting amongst themselves Hu Feng was startled. On their side, everyone was using up all their power just to block these terrifying life forms. But Long Chen's side was still fighting amongst themselves as those life forms crashed upon them. Long Chen lives for battle, not fighting with so many people there isn't his style, said Mo Nian calmly. Mo Nian, can you help out? How long do you plan to laze about? Raged Bidang Rushuang. Mo Nian was silently hiding amongst them, not doing anything. Now he was even in the mood to provide commentary. Am I not simply holding back my power for if Long Chen needs me? It'll be tough on you for now, snickered Mo Nian. You're saving your power? Are you being serious? Bidang Rushuang eyed Mo Nian doubtingly. Are you trying to hurt my feelings? Are you questioning my power? Mo Nian patted his chest. You're wrong. I'm not questioning it. I've never believed in it from the start. All you know how to do is flap your gums all day. You don't give me any sense of reliability, said Bidang Rushuang disdainfully. Mo Nian didn't get mad and just chortled. I can't blame you for not believing it. After all. I'm a very low-key person. The Martial Heaven Continent has long since forgotten my great name. However, the main character always comes at the last moment. Everything before that is just child's play. Wait and see. I, Mo Nian, will soon be a blazing sun that will illuminate this world. The darkness will be driven away by my power shut up and get to work. I'll kick you out right now, roared Bidang Rushuang. This fellow only knew how to talk big but he was simply hiding amongst their midst. Fine, fine. Mo Nian helplessly joined in. His addition instantly revealed the pressure on Zeman Shiangsheng. As the battlefield on Mo Nian's side lightened, the core of the lightning tribulation had turned into chaos. Within the exploding lightning, Long Chen was like a dragon in a chaotic battle. Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen had joined forces against the Aldevil Heavenwalker. The Aldevil Heavenwalker sneered. He was about to mock them for already being defeated when Yi Liangchen raised his sword. Waves of divine light slashed down on him like flying stars. With a single sword, countless life forms were slashed apart. The Aldevil Heavenwalker's heart shook. Devil Chi exploded out of him. Boom. When the Aldevil Heavenwalker's Devil Chi was shattered by Yi Liangchen's sword, Yi Liangchen sneered. When I fought you last time, my spirit bone was still in slumber. I couldn't activate my full manifestation. Today, I'll let you experience the true stars illuminate the cosmos. Yi Liangchen was surrounded by starlight. His manifestation was already present behind him as if he was in control of a whole starry sky. He's mine. A furious roar rang out. A giant axe swung through the air at the Aldevil Heavenwalker. Jiang Wachen was also attacking. He had summoned his manifestation, and there was an eight king roaring inside it. Right now, countless chains made out of runes were connecting Jiang Wachen to his manifestation, and his axe tore through the heavens. When the spirit bone awakens, the essence, chi, and spirit become one. Even without undergoing the full tribulation, you can already control the power of the heaven merging some of the heaven merging experts watching side. When the spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone were fully awakened, they became one not only with each other but with the Tao as well.
their manifestations were fully activated, allowing them to unleash unprecedented power. At this moment, the Aldevil Heavenwalker summoned a giant shield. Devil Chi swirled around it. However, when Jiang Wachen's axe smashed into it, the shield exploded and the Aldevil Heavenwalker was blown back. Good. The experts of the divine families that were watching from a distance cheered. Jiang Wachen had finally won back some face. The Jiang family's people in particular sighed with relief. His defeat last time had placed the Jiang family under immense pressure. Now that Jiang Wachen had displayed his terrifying power, they were no longer being crushed under that pressure. Even if your spirit bones have awakened. So what? I could beat you once. And I can beat you again. The Aldevil Heavenwalker roared. Devil Chi exploding out of him. He was like a devil king reborn. Big words. Face your death. Shouted Jiang Wachen, once more swinging his axe. Yi Liangchen also attacked. Having been defeated last time, as long as he could slay the Aldevil Heavenwalker, he would finally be able to retrieve the face that he had lost. Seeing them, the Aldevil Heavenwalker sneered. He formed hand seals, and Devil Chi condensed into chains. They were like whips streaking through the air, leaving cracks in the void. With divine items in hand, Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen fought an intense battle against the Aldevil Heavenwalker. Exploding divine light filled the air around them. As the three of them fought, Long Chen fought against the nine-headed lion, with lightning flickering on top of his dragon scales. He unleashed a punch that caused the void to explode. A mass of ripples spread and annihilated the surrounding lightning life forms. The nine-headed lion was incredibly powerful. His body also had thunder force and that thunder force was no weaker than Long Chen's. That thunder force also stemmed from the heavenly tribulation lightning of the world. So these two kinds of heavenly tribulation lightning repeatedly clashed. Space was in constant fluctuation. As Long Chen fought with his fists, his dragon scales were like whirlpools sucking in the surrounding lightning. He could clearly feel Lai Long's aura soaring inside of him. Its body was transforming multiple times. Lai Long was coiled within Long Chen's body, absorbing the lightning pouring in from the outside world. It had entered a strange state, as if it was undergoing a metamorphosis. Huo Linger had taken on the form of a fire dragon and was resting beside Lai Long, protecting it. Long Chen noticed Huo Linger absorbing lightning as well, but not pure lightning. She was absorbing the laws of the worlds. Those laws weren't useful to Lai Long. So Huo Linger was using her flames to refine those laws until the lightning grew even purer. As Long Chen fought the nine-headed lion, the dragon woman, Yi Miang, and the blood fiend devil lord chose to just sit to the side. They didn't directly attack. As for Long Aotian, he was also standing there coldly. No one knew what he was thinking. Feng Fei looked at Long Aotian and hesitated. Her manifestation appeared behind her. She was just about to go help Long Chen when he sent her another spiritual message. Don't join in. Save your energy to run. Chapter 2657 Copy of the Heavenly Deos Feng Fei didn't like Long Chen. But in the face of invaders from other worlds, her position was very clear. She wouldn't place her dislike of him over her duty. Just as she was about to go help Long Chen, he sent her such a message. Just what was he intending on doing? Save her energy to run for her life? She didn't understand, but she thought that Long Chen wouldn't harm her, so it was most likely a warning out of good intentions. Thus, she chose to just watch like Long Aotian. The core of the lightning tribulation had Long Chen fighting the nine headed lion, as well as Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen fighting the Aldevil Heavenwalker. Both those battles were relatively evenly matched, Novaloon.com, just like that. The terrifying lightning life forms didn't even have a chance to approach them before being blasted apart. They really are terrifying. They can actually ignore those terrifying life forms. The experts watching them fighting in the tribulation were all stunned. Every single one of those life forms was terrifying. Even if all these experts charged out, they knew they would be unable to handle these life forms. However, they had become cannon fodder in front of Long Chen and the others not posing any threat at all. They all came prepared. Some of them came with treasures that can block lightning, while the Aldevil Heavenwalker, the Nine-Headed Lion, and the Blood Fiend Devil Lord all have their respective world's thunder force within them. Thus, 
it is difficult for this lightning to harm them. As for Yi Ming, he's the really strange one. Theoretically, he should be the one most suppressed by this lightning. But his body, heavens, look, he has black lightning runes on his body. What is that? An elder was in the midst of analyzing things when he let out a startled cry. Those black lightning runes were incredibly strange. They were visible yet also not visible. At this moment, other experts began to look more closely at Ji Ming and noticed that there really were some vague lightning runes. Any sounds of shock were drowned out by the rumbling sounds throughout the heavens. Long Chen and the nine-headed lion had soared into the sky to fight in front of the heavenly gate. Heavens, how are their auras still growing stronger? Even after fighting for so long, their auras didn't decline. Instead, they only grew. I didn't think that you were also capable of absorbing lightning. All right, then once I kill you, I can take your lightning as well, said the nine-headed lion. It just so happens that my thought process is the same, said Long Chen. This nine-headed lion had a world's heavenly tribulation power within him, and it was a priceless treasure for Lai Long. Moreover, there were also the blood fiend devil lord's red lightning, Yi Ming's black lightning, and the Al Devil Heaven Walker's Devil Chi Lightning. Those were all treasures for Lai Long. After fighting against the nine-headed lion for so long, Long Chen had absorbed quite a bit of his lightning. As for the Blood Fiend Devil Lord's lightning, it was too far. So Long Chen could only absorb a bit of it. The Al Devil Heaven Walker hadn't used his full power yet and was only passively attacking. Having a deeper understanding of this heavenly tribulation, he knew that the real terror was coming. Suddenly, the heavenly gate closed and no more life forms appeared. As Long Chen and the others slaughtered the remaining life forms, they were quickly cut down until they were all destroyed. All that remained was a sea of lightning. The heavenly tribulation is finally over. That was really frightening the world returned to calm, and the silence was like a weight off of their ears. Suddenly, light exploded out of the heavenly gate, enveloping everyone in the core region, including Yun Tian and the others. What? It's not over yet. The light from the heavenly gate fell upon Long Chen and the others, and then streaks of light flew out of their bodies, returning to the heavenly gate. What's going on? Boom. Suddenly, the heavenly gate opened once more. One figure after another fell from the sky. How is that possible? Those figures were familiar faces. They were Long Chen, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Al Devil Heaven Walker, the Nine Headed Lion, the Dragon Woman. Long Aoshan, Yi Liangchen, Yun Tian, Mo Nian, and the others. All those within the heavenly tribulation were coming out of the heavenly gate. The heavenly deos have copied them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. Heavens, there are 9 sets of them. This is a sure death tribulation. It was very rare for a heavenly tribulation to copy someone in the tribulation. However, such a thing had occurred throughout history. It was said only those that could threaten the heavenly deos would be copied so that they could kill themselves. In those historical tribulations, only one copy would possibly be made. However, that copy would have limitless power and would simply exhaust the true body to death. The power of the copy came from the heavenly deos, while the person undergoing tribulation had limited spiritual yuan. Furthermore, by that point in the tribulation, they would already be exhausted. People who encountered this kind of trial almost always died. The copy possessed all the divine abilities of the original and was equivalent to another self in terms of combat power. However, this copy would never tire. Such a thing was enough to make a person feel despair. To beat oneself would require making a sudden breakthrough in the middle of the battle or using some strange tactic to handle yourself. All those who had faced such a tribulation were startling geniuses of history. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu had experienced such tribulations and managed to defeat themselves. However, that battle had been extremely difficult. At that time, they had only faced one copy. However, now there were nine. So they turned pale. This was an unbeatable battle. The Aldevil Heaven Walker, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord, the Nine Headed Lion, Yi Ming, Long Aoshan, and the others were also shaken by this change. Of everyone present, only Long Chen was indifferent. He had long since gotten used to his tribulations. He knew that his tribulation would never disappoint him. Nine Long Chens attacked at once. 
and the other clones also attacked their originals. Right from the start, they unleashed their fiercest attacks, and all kinds of Paragon Arts raged. In that instant, it became impossible for those outside to see anything. The area within the tribulation was in chaos. All laws broke down and spastime shattered. Fuck. Mo Nian saw nine of him condensing arrows on their bows. As the world shook, Mo Nian was shocked to find that he couldn't move. Chapter 2658 Heaven Shattering God Extermination Arrow It wasn't just Mo Nian who couldn't move. Even Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu turned pale. They were also locked down just because they were standing close to him. It's over. We're definitely dead. That's my heaven shattering god extermination arrow. Mo Nian's heart sank. That was his strongest technique, but it had also been copied by the heavenly deos. Now that nine clones of him had appeared at once, not even ten lives would be enough to survive this. Mo Nian turned green. He had wanted to conserve his power in order to seem like a pig to eat a tiger. As a result, he really did end up like a pig. He was going to die to his own hands. Zeman Shiangsheng and the other's clones had yet to attack, but Mo Nian's clones had locked the experts down. Boom. At this moment, nine Mo Nians knocked their bows like full moons. Just as Mo Nian and the others thought that they were dead, a sword shattered the void, striking the nine Mo Nians and blasting them into lightning. Right away, the bindings on Mo Nian and the others vanished, and they saw Yan Tian within the lightning. He had killed all nine Mo Nians in one blow. Boss Yan Tian, you're amazing. I, Mo Nian, am willing to revere you as boss for this lifetime. Mo Nian cried out excitedly, almost crying from the emotion of taking back his life. If he died here, it would not be worth it. Brother Mo, your technique is amazing. Fortunately, I have a secret art to escape such locks, or we would have all died. Yan Tian smiled at Mo Nian. He had only just spoken when nine Yan Shians surrounded and attacked him. Boss Yan Tian, don't panic. I'll help you. Mo Nian grabbed the heaven seizing sun hunting bow, and his aura instantly transformed. An arrow condensed on the string. I can handle it. Go help the others, said Yan Tian, his expression still calm even with nine of his clones attacking him at once. All right. Mo Nian unleashed his arrow. Right now. Zeman Shiangsheng was already surrounded by nine of himself and was injured in the first exchange. Since he had never encountered such a scenario, his heart sank. Luckily, an arrow blasted through three of the Zeman Shiangshengs, containing the laws of the heavenly deos. Not only was the arrow incomparably sharp, but it was also able to curve through the air and slay three targets at once. After that, Mo Nian began to unleash a rain of arrows and the clones attacking Zeman Shiangsheng were quickly killed. Zeman Shiangsheng then shouted his thanks. Without this aid, he wouldn't have lasted more than a few breaths time. Help the others, responded Mo Nian. He continued attacking, helping Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang. Help, don't let them activate the heavenly fate dice, shouted Hu Feng suddenly. Mo Nian jumped and hastily focused on Hu Feng's side. Hu Feng had a rare expression of fear. His heavenly fate dice was quivering as it unleashed divine light that trapped his nine clones. Those nine clones were forming hand seals, seemingly in preparation for some kind of ultimate technique. Looking at this scene, Zeman Shiangsheng rushed over, while Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang also charged over, ignoring their own clones for now. Hu Feng's clones were killed one by one. However, when the final clone finished the hand seal, Hu Feng instantly turned pale. Just at this moment, a zither twanged and a wave of light struck the clone, destroying it. Many thanks, zither fairy, Hu Feng shouted into the distance. Zi Yan was standing far away from everyone. However, when she interfered, her heavenly tribulation rapidly drew her closer. Originally, Zi Yan was undergoing her tribulation outside the core, but this interference was captured by the heavenly deos, and she was drawn in. With Zi Yan's assistance, the clones were quickly all killed. Just as everyone was thinking of going to help Yan Tian, they saw that he had killed his own nine clones. Hu Feng, what happened just now? You scared us, said Mo Nian. Hu Feng's appearance just now was like the ends of days had come. Hu Feng said, this heavenly tribulation is truly terrifying, but it's also shameless. 
It copied my gambling heavenly Deo's forbidden art, which is a suicidal technique that sacrifices your very life as a price to activate it. After that, it will summon a devil from another world that is limited by my cultivation base. Since I'm currently in the heaven merging state, it might summon an existence at the very peak of heaven merging hearing that, everyone felt a chill. Something at the very peak of heaven merging? If a ninth of vestige heaven merging expert appeared, they would probably all be killed. Furthermore, it would have been nine of them. This technique of Hu Feng's was truly heaven defying, but the heavenly deos were also extremely shameless to start with this technique. My apologies for implicating the zither fairy, said Hu Feng. Zi Yan smiled. It's fine. Watching the fighting here is more comfortable than just watching from a distance. Suddenly, an explosive sound came from the core region. Someone was coughing up blood. It was Jiang Wachen. Jiang Wachen had lasted an incense stick's worth of time against his nine clones before being injured. The divine family's experts were shaken. Wachen, hold on. This kind of sure death heavenly tribulation is based on time. As long as enough time passes, the tribulation will end. You have to survive the final wave. Bang. The speaker was an elder from the divine families, but he wasn't even done warning Jiang Wachen before his body suddenly exploded. His interference with the heavenly tribulation had been sensed by the heavens. Even a heaven merging expert was like an ant in front of this terrifying heavenly tribulation. They didn't have the slightest ability to resist. The elder was from the Jiang family. Having known that this would be the result and that he didn't have many years left, he chose to sacrifice his life to warn Jiang Wachen. After hearing that elder's warning, Jiang Wachen stopped fighting his clones head on. He chose to fight conservatively, buying time. Yi Liangchen wasn't much better off than Jiang Wachen, but he was more prudent and had been fighting steadily the entire time. On the other hand, Long Aotian appeared to have it easy. He was like a fish in water. This was his first time showing his power, stunning quite a few people. However, the most shocking one was Feng Fei. She was only facing five clones. The other four were gone. Feng Fei's expression was odd. That was because those four clones had been destroyed silently without anyone managing to see who had done it. But she assumed that it was most likely Long Chen. Otherwise, the one to end up injured first would have been her. At this moment, Long Chen was fighting intensely against his nine clones. However, his focus was on the heavenly gate. As expected, there's still one more wave. Time's running out, and Lai Long is still lacking a bit of food. I can't waste any more time. Boom. Long Chen suddenly let out a punch that directly caused one of his clones to explode, causing everyone to jump in shock. Chapter 2659 Exterminating Clone is what Long Chen's sudden punch instantly destroyed one of his clones. Others were forced to fight conservatively as they were surrounded by their nine clones, but Long Chen was launching a fierce counterattack. Are you all saving your energy in order to kill me in the end? It's a nice plan but this grand ambition of yours will never be realized. The heavenly tribulation is about to end, so let's settle things between us as well. Long Chen felt world energy pouring through his veins from his 108,000 stars, and in the blink of an eye, all his clones were annihilated. This, everyone was stunned. Just what was going on? No matter how strong someone was, how could they possibly kill themselves so easily? That made no sense. The stronger someone was, the easier they should be killed by their clones. Die. After killing his clones, Long Chen charged toward the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. The current Blood Fiend Devil Lord was covered in red lightning as he fought his nine clones. Boom. The instant Long Chen charged into his battlefield, he sent a kick at him. Now he didn't just have to deal with his nine clones but also Long Chen. Since that's the case, there's no need to hold back any longer. I'll kill you right now, the blood fiend devil lord snorted, as blood-colored runes suddenly flashed in his eyes, a pair of giant pupils appeared within the blood sun behind him, it was like a devil's gaze, and in that instant, his blood chi ignited like flames burning around him, boom, the blood fiend devil lord smashed apart one of his clones, while at the same time launched a kick at Long Chen, after clashing, the two of them retreated at the same time, the blood fiend devil lord then snorted, and chains suddenly shot out of his manifestation. 
His clones were pierced by the chains and destroyed easily. What is going on? Startled cries rang out. It wasn't just Long Chen. Even the blood fiend devil lord could kill his clones so easily. The reason they can so easily defeat their clones is because they have some secret art in their bodies. Those secret arts must be something that even the heavenly deos cannot replicate, resulting in their clones not being able to match their true bodies. Now it seems they're no longer planning on holding back. The true battle for karmic luck is starting, explained someone. Being copied by the heavenly deos might be a sure death tribulation for others, but it was nothing to Long Chen. Every one of his clones only had 60% of his power at most. His 9-star battle armor, his azure dragon battle armor, the power of his 108,000 astral spaces, and many of his other techniques were unable to be copied. In the immemorial path, he had encountered a similar trial where he faced a copy of himself. That copy had been able to replicate most of his techniques, but as his cultivation base grew, it became more difficult for anything to copy him. Even the powers of Lai Long and Huo Linger were unable to be copied any longer. If that was the case for him, then he believed that it was the case for the others as well. They were all waiting for the optimal time to make their move. However, Long Chen didn't want this wave of tribulations to end just like this. Those clones were all made of pure lightning, and they were extremely precious to Lai Long. If the clones weren't destroyed, Lai Long would be unable to absorb the lightning. Then when this wave ended, those clones would be returned to the heavenly deos, and that was far too wasteful. Seeing the blood fiend devil lord using his real power, Long Chen immediately switched targets to the Aldevil Heavenwalker. Looking at this scene, the Aldevil Heavenwalker snorted and didn't even give Long Chen a chance to get close. Devil Chi exploded out of him, and an entire world appeared in his manifestation. With a wave of his hand, all his clones were destroyed. Yi Ming and the Nine-Headed Lion also unleashed their power, destroying their clones. On the other side, Long Aotian had not just destroyed his clones, but he had also destroyed Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen's clones. To the side, spectating. The pill fairy was surrounded by white flames. Her clones were incinerated by those flames. Even the pure lightning clones were ignited and burned until they exploded. Long Chen, your life is mine. The nine-headed lion roared and took the initiative ahead of everyone else. As his golden fur blazed, all nine pairs of eyes on his heads fully opened. After that, the wolf head opened its mouth. Long Chen's heart shuddered. A sensation of imminent danger filled him. At this moment, Evil Moon appeared in his hand, and he slashed toward the empty air beside him. Boom. The void exploded, and countless wind blades came flying out of the shattered space. What a bizarre technique. It can silently creep up on someone with no warning. Feng Fei was startled by this strange divine ability. The attack from one of the nine-headed lion's heads was actually not a direct attack, but a strange sneak attack from a bizarre angle. If Long Chen didn't have such sharp senses and made the correct judgment, he would probably be gravely wounded. As Long Chen blocked this silent attack, the nine-headed lion charged forward, and golden light radiated from his body as if he was made of gold. He slashed a claw at Long Chen. Looking at this scene, Long Chen blocked with Evil Moon, and a metallic ringing rang out. The nine-headed lion's claw was even harder than ordinary divine items. Just as they clashed, all nine of his heads roared, and explosive power burst out of him like a volcano. Boom. Long Chen was sent flying. The nine-headed lion was finally willing to use his real power. He had nine heads with nine divine abilities. When they attacked all at once, Long Chen was sent flying miserably. Just as Long Chen was flying back through the air, a black chain snaked out and appeared above Long Chen's head. After that, the chain instantly exploded and transformed into tiny chains that formed a net, trapping Long Chen. It was Yi Ming. He had perfectly calculated Long Chen's angle and speed. The net sealed Long Chen like a fish. Black Chi spiraled out of it. The Undying Race's secret art? The mighty corrupt god reincarnation actually sold himself out. Did your father teach you this technique? Sneered Long Chen. Just as Evil Moon's runes were about to activate. Lightning burst forth onto its blade, and the net was cleanly cut in two. It was like using a knife to cut through a radish. The cut was as clean as could be. You, Yi Ming was startled. 
This was a secret art that he had learned from the undying race, one containing an entire world's power. The martial heaven continent's laws were completely ineffective against it. He had been holding back his true power just to kill Long Chen in one blow at the perfect time. However, his confident attempt was easily shattered. Big Brother Long Chen. A voice rang out in Long Chen's head, one that was both foreign and familiar. Chapter 2660 Li Linger The voice was foreign, but its spiritual fluctuations were familiar. Right now, Long Chen was delighted to see that the giant lightning dragon in the primal chaos space had vanished, replaced with a delicate young lady who appeared to be 14 or 15 years old. She had blue eyes and blue hair, with lightning runes covering her entire body. Your lie. Linger. When Huo Linger had taken human form, Long Chen had changed her name from Huo Long to Huo Linger as she had gone from a flame dragon to a flame spirit. At that time, Long Chen had decided that if one day Lai Long also achieved the same level of spirituality, he would call it libation if it transformed into a male, or Lai Linger if it transformed into a girl. Then Lai Linger and Huo Linger would be sisters. Originally, Long Chen had thought that a manifestation of lightning would transform into a large man like a lightning god. Perhaps it was due to being influenced by Huo Linger, but the form Lai Long took was very similar to her. It was just that one was red and one was blue. Big Brother Long Chen, I finally absorbed enough lightning to complete the initial step of awakening. I now have a 10,000 lightning body and am not afraid of any kind of lightning. All their lightning techniques can be destroyed by a wave of my hand, said Li Linger confidently. Just at this moment, lightning flickered in the Aldevil Heavenwalker's hand, and it condensed into a sword filled with devil chi. Previously, it had been this lightning sword that had easily swept through his clones, annihilating them. This was a technique that not even the heavenly deos were capable of replicating. Now, it was piercing toward Long Chen. Li Linger, let them see your true power. Long Chen didn't turn back at the devil sword pierced toward his back. Instead, he reached back with a hand covered in lightning runes. In front of countless shocked gazes, Long Chen caught the devil sword between his forefinger and middle finger. What countless people cried out. He used two fingers to block the full power attack of the Aldevil Heaven Walker? Was Long Chen defying the heavens? Everyone's jaws dropped. Just what had Long Chen gone through to become so terrifying? That was amazingly flashy. Mo Nian couldn't help sighing in admiration. This posture, this expression, this style, it had reached the pinnacle of showing off. There was no way to surpass this. You only have this little bit of power? What a foolish devil race. Long Chen slowly turned around to face the shocked Aldevil Heavenwalker. Since he was showing off, he might as well show off some more. Feeling the endless power coming from Lai Linger, Long Chen suddenly applied some pressure with his fingers. As a result, the lightning sword was shattered by Long Chen's two hands. After shattering, it exploded. At this moment, a wave of lightning spread in every direction. The berserk will of the heavenly deos caused the world to shake. This sword contained the will of an entire world. It was condensed from the laws of the devil world but the result was an entire world's power had been snapped into two by Long Chen's fingers. They had known that Long Chen was a terrifying individual, but how could his power reach such an extent? Was this really the Long Chen they knew? Li Linger, your incredible Long Chen looked at the lightning runes revolving around his fingers. In truth, the Aldevil Heavenwalker's sword had been incredibly powerful. However, it was made of lightning. As long as it was made of lightning, it was under the domain of Li Linger. Although it looked like he had applied some pressure with his fingers and snapped the blade. In truth, Li Linger had injected her energy into the sword, causing its energy balance to be thrown into disarray. Hence, this resulted in the sword crumbling. Everyone had been misled by Long Chen. Even the master of that devil sword, the Aldevil Heavenwalker, was stunned. He didn't understand what had just happened. You simply control lightning. As long as we don't use lightning, this ability of yours will be useless, sneered the nine-headed lion. As someone who had also absorbed the lightning of the world, he had seen some clues. Just as he finished speaking, Long Chen suddenly pounced over to him and slapped his face. Boom. A lightning rune exploded in Long Chen's palm. The nine-headed lion's face caved in. 
and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. As he flew back, four bloody teeth flew out. Long Chen had slapped the nine-headed lion before. At that time, rather than sending him flying, it was his own hand that was hurt. But this time, it was different. The face slap was still a face slap. It was the same familiar move but no longer the same flavor. Just as Long Chen's slap was about to land, Li Linger condensed a lightning rune in his palm. It exploded when it struck, resulting in this shocking effect. His face slapping art had an almost 100% success rate. An important reason for this was that it didn't contain any killing intent, making it so that others were unable to sense any threat. Unable to sense the impending danger, they couldn't instinctively dodge or defend. However, with Li Linger's cooperation, it became a killer move. Long Chen was in charge of slapping, and Li Linger was in charge of conning. Due to the lightning rune condensing at the very end of the slap, even if the other side did sense it, they wouldn't have time to dodge it. Even the nine-headed lion, with his powerful tempered physical body, was injured to such an extent. If it was someone else, this slap would have been enough to blow up their head. Noveloon.com Long Chen was delighted by the success of his first cooperation with Li Linger. He then turned to the Aldevil Heavenwalker, whose expression completely changed. With a furious shout, Devil Chi condensed into chains that formed layers of nets. At the same time, he rapidly retreated. He was finally frightened. Long Chen's slap just now had made his heart sink. His physical body was not as strong as the nine-headed lion. If he was the one struck by it, it would no longer be just a mental humiliation. It could potentially kill him. As the Aldevil Heavenwalker created distance between himself and Long Chen, lightning suddenly exploded out of Long Chen as he stamped a foot on the first net. He vanished. Just as he vanished, the dragon woman, nine-headed lion, Aldevil Heavenwalker, and blood fiend devil lord's expressions changed. They quickly formed hand seals, summoning a domain of divine energy around themselves. Boom. Their domains had only just appeared when Long Chen appeared within the Blood Fiend Devil Lord's blood light. As a result, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord quickly condensed a spear that was destroyed by a punch from Long Chen. He quickly retreated, maintaining a safe distance from Long Chen. They no longer dare to fight Long Chen in close range. They formed hand seals instead unleashing long-range attacks on him. Suddenly, a blue lotus appeared below Long Chen's feet, unleashing a dreamlike glow. The entire world was shrouded in a mysterious veil. The four of their attacks struck the lotus and simply bounced off, unable to harm it at all. So strong, Long Chen had flowers blooming in his heart. Li Linger's power was greater than he had ever imagined after taking human form. Those attacks were unable to break her defenses. Feng Fei stared in shock at that lightning lotus. Long Chen's power far surpassed her expectations. Run now. Just as Feng Fei was staring in shock at Long Chen's lotus, Long Chen's voice rang out in her head. 